Haslitz, Florida Tuskers have taken the UFL by storm and have already earned a berth in the first UFL championship game. Brooks Bollinger is the league's premier passer, completing 68% of his passes and connecting on 11 TDs. Dave Biddle leads the league in receiving yardage by an overwhelming margin. He's a speed guy, a track guy that runs great routes, excellent hands, big play guy. The Tuskers defense has contributed its share with the league leading totals in interceptions and sacks. Tonight, the Sentinels stand in the way of a 5-0 Tuskers start. everybody to Hartford, Connecticut. This is the UFL on Versus presented by Title Electro Energy Drink. Tonight it's the 4-0 Tuskers against the 0-4 New York Sentinels. Good evening, everybody. Glad you could join us. I'm Dave Sims with Doug Flutie, and tonight we're looking at a couple of teams. What a contrast. One in the championship game, one just trying to get a W. Yeah, Ted Cottrell, head coach in New York, He's still going after that first win. It's his first year as a head coach, so they still have things to play for. As a team, individual players, you know that eye in the sky is still watching. There are scouts in the stands every week. You know they're watching you. You're playing for the future and future jobs. How about the Florida Tuskers? They had a bye week last week. So in that interim time, what did Jim Hazlitt, their head coach, they put him in pads for four straight days. Came out, took a couple days off, then four straight days in pads, and they were hitting full tilt going at it. He wants them to peak at the right time. They're in the championship game. They want to finish this season strong. They're adding stuff every week. They're pushing themselves to be the best they can be. New York Sentinels trying to get a win for the first time this year. Last week, Engel Martin started. This week, he had to go home. His wife gave birth to their first, ch first child on, uh, on Monday, so now he's coming back but Quinn Gray gets to start this evening. Quinn gets another opportunity, and when something is taken away from you and you get that second chance, you have to take advantage of it. Quinn, his biggest challenge is dumping the ball off, being patient within the offense, being consistent. His last start two weeks ago, he played very well for three quarters of the game, struggled in the fourth quarter. So consistency is what we're looking for out of Quinn. We're speaking about Engel Martin getting to start last week. He's available for tonight. A few minutes ago, Cordell Stewart spoke with Engel Martin. Coaches always, Engel, coaches always talk about being able to adjust. This past week's been pretty crazy for you from starting last week to now all of a sudden having a baby this week. Tell us, how crazy has that been for you? Uh, it's been uh, pretty, uh, I guess, like an emotional roller coaster that people always talk about. Um, you know, obviously getting a start last week, first time I started since uh, 2005 in the college game. Um, you know, as a, as a third string guy in the NFL, you don't get much work in practice, and, uh, let alone games. And, you um, you know, it was uh, it was something that I, you know, wanted and uh, got it, and we obviously didn't get the result we wanted. And then uh, come back this week, and uh, my wife calls me Monday and tells me that she thinks our baby's coming. And uh, he would have been five weeks early, and uh, you know, he came Tuesday. Had to miss a couple of days of practice, and uh, obviously, I'm back here with the team, and um, you know, just looking forward to it tonight. How's mommy and the baby doing? Is it right, right, yeah. Martin? Yep, right, Martin, and uh, my wife Jennifer both doing well, and uh, hopefully, we'll have them both home tomorrow. Congratulations. Good luck tonight. All right, thank, thank you. you. Back to you guys. All right, Cordell, thank you, and congratulations to the Martin family. That was taped a little bit earlier. The Florida Ball Club, they've got the number one passing team, Brooks Bollinger and Tay Biddle. What a combination. You know, Brooks has been the calming force of this. He came in late in camp, but he's just taken control of this offense, done a great job of just being consistent, distributing the football. As many as 11 different receivers catch a ball in a game. He's over 68% throwing the football, only two picks. He's making good decisions, and that's with the talent around him, that's all he has to do is distribute the ball. Tay Biddle is their big play guy. Double move post here, beating a very good corner in Herbert. He's got phenomenal speed, excellent hands, runs great routes. He is their explosive guy. He is their big play guy, a former track. Not only can Florida hurt you through the air, on the ground they welcome back Tatum Bell tonight. they have glad to have him back after an injury. He is their number one tailback. He is. He was their original starter, and he is a slasher and a cutter. He's a legitimate tailback, no doubt about it. Uh, Pittman, the other guy that's been playing, Pittman's been getting a little work, and he catches the ball out of the backfield very well, but when you're running the football consistently, you want Tatum Bell in the back. Field. That's a great combination. They got a lot of depth on this ball club. We're moving closer to kickoff. Florida and New York for the second time this year. Take a look inside the respective locker rooms as the guys get ready. Kickoff is approaching here in Hartford, Connecticut. This is the UFL on Versus. The United Football 
League on Versus is presented by StubHub, where fans buy and sell tickets. By Motorola. By Men's Warehouse, you're going to like the way you look. And by GameWare. Look like a pro, play like a pro. watching TV who the best team is in the league. All right? No, make no mistake about it. Bye, Paul. You guys got it? Yes, all right? Play physical. All right? Play physical. That's why you put the pads on all week. I want to get after them. Let's play physical. Be smart. Get after their ass. Let's have some fun, right? The one team we're going to have some fun is this team. Let's go. Bring it up, guys. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. Don't take it for granted. Be a pro. Tuskers on three. One, two, three. Tuskers. Look at the standings in the UFL. Florida already in the championship game. That Las Vegas, California game. Tell you what, that's going to go a long ways in deciding who the Florida opponent will be coming up with uh, at the Friday after Thanksgiving. Let's go down the sideline. Anita Marks with Jim Haslam. That's right, head coach of the Florida Tuskers, Jim Hazlitt. You guys are coming off a bye, but two weeks ago, not happy with your team's performance against the Locos, which resulted in a tough week of practice. Yeah, we uh, we put the pads on, and I think they got the message, and hopefully we come out here tonight and play physical and, and tackle better and do the things that uh, it takes to win. So um, I, I think they'll, they'll, they'll rise to the occasion. Well, you're undefeated. You've already clinched a berth in the championship game in Vegas, but your offensive coordinator, Jay Gruden, said we're going to see a little wildcat tonight, maybe with Jason Foster. Yeah, Jay Jason was, uh, you know, a quarterback at Georgia Southern, and you know, we, we've had it, and we just haven't had a chance to run a bunch of it. So we're going to get a couple looks tonight. He has a chance to throw the ball, so it'll be it'll be fun to watch him. Well, I've seen his video on YouTube. I'm excited for it. Good luck, Coach. Good video. <laughs> Back to you guys. All right, Anita, thank you, and thank you, Jim. Our sideline report brought to you by AOL Fan House. For more information on the UFL, go to FanHouse. Dot com. There's Ted Cottrell looking for his first victory as a head coach, longtime coordinator, many stops in the NFL, and we saw them last week, and that was out at Hofstra, and they did not have a good game. New York 41-10 loser to Las Vegas, while Florida in its most recent out a couple of weeks ago in a great game, maybe the best game of the year so far, 27-24 over Las Vegas back on October 30th. Absolutely. They changed three or four times. They went into the fourth quarter late, one on a field goal. It was a great football game for this league and could potentially be a matchup we see in a championship game. Peter Check has it teed up, a veteran out of Wagner, and deep to receive is Willie Andrews. Willie's got a season-long return of 37 yards. That was last week, and here we go. We are underway in East Hartford, Connecticut. And there's some really good hitting down there. Trey Battle on the tackle, number 27. He is the starting free safety. Went down and did a good job covering that. That uh, kickoff, 16 yards on the return as we look at Brooks Bollinger, one of the captains of this ball club against New York. First outing, 20 of 26, 225, four touchdowns and one interception. However, in the beginning of that game, New York came out flying, went up 10-0, intercepted Bollinger. We were on the one-yard line with an opportunity to go up 17-0. And then a fumble, and it's turned both their seasons around. And it did. And the New York Sentinels trying to get on the board of the W. First play from scrimmage. 24-yard line. Bollinger time. Wide open. Oh, the hands of Jermaine Wiggins, the tight end. He was wide open as we take a look at the starting lineups presented by Men's Warehouse, the official outfitter of the UFL's broadcast team. Men's Warehouse, you're going to like the way you look. On that offensive line, Rob Petiti, Davis, Lucas, Alexander, and one. They've had an outstanding year. The backs and receivers, Bell, Pennick, the fullback, Maxwell, Wiggins, and Tay Biddle, their top receiver, the top receiver in the league. Massive shift with Bell to be back. 
Bell with lots of running room. First down and more. Across the 35 to the 40 to the 41-yard line. A pickup of 17. Trey Battle with the tackle. First down, Florida. Watch Jermaine Wiggins coming from right to left. The tight end moving 85. Boom on the wham block. Right up the middle for Tatum Bell. We got a little heads up on that play uh, the other day talking to Hazlitt. He wanted to wham him a little bit. And Jermaine Wiggins, who was the attendant receiver on the first uh, play, comes up with a huge block for Spring Tatum Bell. Jonas Seawright never saw what hit him. They go empty backfield on this first and 10 at the 41. Bollinger time, sideline pass. A little bit too high. He had Tatum Bell incomplete. Here's the New York defense. Bichetti, Seawright, Save, and Rice, Simeon Rice. Still trying to really get going, get this unit going again. Ryan Wallace very active at the outside linebacker position last week. Multiple tackles. And in the secondary, Pratt, Mays, Williams, and Trey Battle. Old-fashioned power eye. They shift out of that. Go to a standard eye. On the delay. Tatum Bell for a couple, picks up three. Take a look at tonight's game where game plan for the Florida Tuskers. Dumb shit. Well, last time against these guys, they got off to a slow start. They've struggled a little bit at the beginning of games. So come out to a fast start and get it going early. Get the ball to Biddle and Maxwell, both big play receivers, and they're going to have an opportunity against the secondary. And stay hungry. Improve. I know you're undefeated right now. You're 4-0, and you already have that spot in the championship game, but it's let's get to a crescendo. Let's peak at the right time. Michael Pittman is in flanking Bollinger. Looks with plenty of time. Throws it behind his receiver, Biddle, who is open. Incomplete. Well, it's Biddle out of Ole Miss. Big stop for this New York team. To keep Florida out of the end zone or off the scoreboard for the beginning, we're going to look from the end zone here. He had a nice route working out to the right, had a couple receivers with an opportunity. Comes backside for the in route, and he just anticipates a little too quickly and misfires low. Jim Hazlitt looking for Todd Sauerbrunn, okay. the punter, to bounce back. Didn't have a good game a couple of weeks ago. Five punts averaged just 31.2 yards. And Sauerbrunn. Gets it down inside the 20. And not a lot going on down there. And a loose ball. It's like Florida may have it. It's like Florida's recovered. This could be Ted Cottrell's worst nightmare with this Florida team. To turn the ball over this early in the ball game. Like Brian Bonner. Looked like he had his hands on it. Had a chance. Bonner, there he is. And boy, showed the ball to, and there's the strip. It's a out. nice play. Definitely out. 36 made the pull. Michael Grant for the Tuskers shook it free. And Florida's going to pick up tremendous field position. It's a critical turnover after an outstanding defensive uh, start. Exactly. A great start defensively. Get off the field, get the ball back in our hands. And then to turn it, Ted, Ted's just got to be shaking his head. A run out of the eye. Big hole inside the five. Good strong run. Nine yards on the run by Tatum Bell. He's fucking head up, huh? You got a shot there still. Florida Tuskers in the Motorola red zone, introducing the Motorola Click with Motorblur. First phone with social skills, available exclusively at T-Mobile. Trying to take advantage of the turnover on the punt. The deep back is Tatum Bell again. He gets the call. Jumps over his fullback. There's a good tackle. Bonner, the guy who fumbled, makes the play. Loss of a yard. Well, they're coming ready to play defensively, New York is. They're hit. They're coming out the gate. They react quickly to the run, cut the legs out of Pinnock, the fullback, and close it down in a hurry. You're hoping for a kick out block by 34. He gets his legs taken out of him, which opens it up for the other defenders to come up and fill the hole. And a great tackle by Bob. You don't leave your feet, coach. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all leverage, no drive. Here's that power eye formation again, and now whistles blow. And a timeout called by New York. Oh, shit. 
We were talking well, about the first, the first time timeout out call. Well, this timeout being brought to you by Levi. Florida Testers, Jim Hazard's ball club knocking on the door and they're early going here in Hartford, Connecticut. No score, back with more right after this. Last time Ted Cottrell's New York Sentinels faced off against Florida. New York had three turnovers and Florida turned them into 21 points and they're in the process of doing it again tonight right here in the early going in Hartford. Bubble screen, touchdown. That was real easy to Jason Foster, touchdown Florida. And it's six nothing Tuskers. It's just straight man-to-man -man coverage. Actually, it had an opportunity to make the tackle when he steps out of it. Jason Foster, very athletic. He's just gonna come right at you here, flips it out here to Jason. He breaks the one-on-one -on -one tackle. Into the end zone he goes. It just it's just the worst way to start for New York. They got their defense off the field once and can't maintain possession on the punt. At Brian's extra point brought to you by StubHub. StubHub where fans buy and sell tickets. Jason Foster with the touchdown reception. And that's his second of the year. Brooks Bollinger's 12th PD pass this season. A three play 11 yard drive and a 129, seven nothing, Florida. Brooks Bollinger, Jason Foster, there's your scoring drive. Three plays, 11 yards, and 129. And drive summary brought to you by Title Electro Energy Drink. Title Thirst for it. Matt Bryan about to kick off. You know, on that touchdown, it was straight man to man coverage. And it was probably not the best option for Brooks to throw out there like that that quickly. He probably had a better look that we're talking on the sideline to take Biddle one on one on the outside, but he got away with it. On this kickoff return team, Marlon Lucky will get it, bobbles it, picks it up, gets a good hop. Hole opens up, and boy, does he take a lick. 26 yard line. Wow. Putting a wood to him. Patrick Chick Cora and Nathan Williams. Wow, that was some hit. Quinn Gray, the quarterback for New York. And on the season, three touchdowns, two interceptions. A couple of weeks ago, 22 of 32, 230 yards. Last time against Florida, 12 for 29, 161 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Steve Sanders in motion. Trying to get something established. They do. First down. Ball's loose, oh brother. Ball's loose. Thorpe on the catch and the fumble. Recovered by wow. Thorpe. That is a heck of a break because that could have been a disaster. Big time disaster. Oh. Grafonzo Thorpe has been coming around as a receiver, really becoming their big play guy. Nice catch on the curl route. Fakir Brown strips, knocks the ball right out. And when you put that ball on the ground, you go into panic mode. You need to get it back. Good throw, good catch, and then he drops it. Luckily, pretty much fell right on it and was able to gather it in. So first down for New York. On the ground, and how about Jim Hazard? Before the game, we heard him say, let's be physical, and that time Shannon Woods gets blown up by Odell Thurman. Tonight's Odell Thurman meets him in the back. Oh, man, oh man, tonight's starting lineup is presented by Men's Warehouse, official outfitter of the UFL's broadcast team. Men's Warehouse, you're gonna like the way you look. Up front, backs and receivers. We look for Thorpe to have a big game. We've got 19 catches, 20 with the one he just had a couple seconds ago. Here, and we think that for them to get anything done today, he's got to have a big game. He does. He's their big play guy. And with 19 receptions, he's tied to the league lead coming into this game. So he, he has really been playing well of late. False start. Offense, number 62nd. Second down. 62nd? 67, Nate Bennett. <laughs> I thought he said second. Yeah. Gonna walk off five against New York. Put it back to the 32. Look at the Florida defensive unit. Good group up front. Yeah, Rotten's been a force. He's a beast in the D-line. Tim, Tim McGarrigal in the middle says those guys in the D-line keep people off of him. And a good secondary. Great a throw right side. Thorpe breaks the tackle. 
Out of bounds at about the 42 yard line. Dewan Tribble had him let him go nine yards on the pickup. Tribble really closed on the pay. He was almost in a position to have a break up there or tip it away, maybe go the other way. Thorpe catches it, pulls out of the tackle, turns it upfield. Ponzo Thorpe had four catches in the previous meeting against Florida. Just underway here. Florida on the board, 7 0. Hey, Fumbled punt nine by nine New York, put them in great nine. position, and they capitalized. Watch for a quick trap up the middle here. Wow, New York has to burn its second time oh, out. That's too. Second. And we're only at the 10 10 mark here in the first quarter. So one timeout remaining for Ted Cottrell's New York Sentinels. Not the start he envisioned. It's 7 0 Florida here in Hartford. in Boston, wifey, the kids, how's everybody doing? The always effervescent Jermaine Wiggins. <laughs> Never the loss for words. Tonight's game, where game plan. Check it out for the Sentinels. Right tackle move. There's at the tight end. I think it was the defensive end jumping first. Uh, Savage came in, or I'm sorry. Offside defense, number 93. Yeah, that's Savage. Came across, drew him out. So the game where game plan Fred, for New start. York. Said number 53. Well, number one, make Brooks hold the ball a little bit. Whether it's, you have to be better in the coverage. Make him hold the ball so Simeon Grace has an opportunity to get to the quarterback. Regain Quinn's confidence at the quarterback position and get a little lucky. Cost some turnovers yourself. Quit giving the ball again away and let's get lucky. Run up the middle, trying to bounce it outside. Not much there for Shannon Woods. Picks up three. Not to be confused with Marlon Lucky, one of their running backs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a fullback, Charles Ali, on the carry. That was a great little effort there to pick up that first down. McGarrigo coming up through, blows up the trap, gets across the face of the down block, messes up in the backfield, but Ali just keeps chugging those legs and gets the first down on his own. There's Gray back to throw. Caught, first down and more. Big play, needed it. Christian Hopkins, a 17-yard gain. First down, New York. Great route by Hopkins. It's kind of an angle route. He starts towards the flat, sticks his foot in the ground, comes back underneath the linebacker. Nice patience and feet by Quinn Gray. He was very relaxed in delivering that football. Let his receiver see the balls that was thrown. This is this is the real positive for New York. Picking up that first first down and following up with that play. Two catches last week for Hopkins and Gray's off to a good start. Three for three, 36 yards. Good play by Willie Williams, number 92. On the carry by Charles Ali, a two-yard pickup. Willie Williams, you got him. They got him listed at 305. He reacted very quickly on that. Yeah, he was in the backfield right away. Beat the block right at the point of attack in the backfield. They're, they're a physical. De I mean, the de defensive line is physical. Engel Martin charting plays right now. We very well may see him. A lot depends on how Quinn Gray plays. Engel played well last week. Real solid game. Nothing special though. There was nothing big that happened in the game, but he was consistent. They can dunk on the sides. Take a lot of deep shots last week. Second down and eight. They're about a yard or two short of a first down. Ronnie Gent, tight end, brought down by Willie Andrews. Seven yards on the pickup. This is very encouraging. This is just a quick little what we call a stick route by the tight end. Turns his head, balls in his chest. Boom. Good little gain on the play. <laughs> nice job hanging on the ball. Get your legs taken out from him. But this is all positive for New York. Good possession throws, positive gains, third and one. They were they did a great job of pulling them off sides to create the third and short last time. Not bad. This drive started at the 27-yard line. They have a third down and one. And Ali sluggles ahead. Got the first down, picks up two. Ali Williams on the tackle. 
You know, we haven't seen a lot of Ali this year carrying the football, but when you get in the third and short, now you can use that big fullback. Down and distance is so important. It makes life so much easier to be in those short yarded situations, and then you can use a big fullback. Charles Ali, Shannon Woods, they're the running backs right now for the Sentinels, down 7 nothing. Good looking drive going here. From the 23, Gray looking left all the way. He had some room down there, but too far for Thorpe. Well played. Well played down there by New York, by uh, Florida. Well, that was probably a, one of those. Fakir Brown. You know, Fakir bailed on him at the last second, and you, you got to come off that throw. He thought he had press coverage. Fakir bailed on a snap, giving the receiver some cushion. You got to come off that throw and go back to the front side. Jeff Rutledge, quarterback coach. He and West Chandler working the offense. Here's the delay. They go to Shannon Woods for three. Well short of a first down. McKinley Boykin, number 68, on the tackle. Woods showed a little of this last week. Quick feet. Really, you know, make, make people miss in space. Create a little something out of nothing. Pick up three or four positive yards there. There's Tim McGarrigal, the middle linebacker. We were talking about Woods. He's out of Texas Tech. He was with the team earlier in the season. Broke his hand, just came back a couple of weeks ago. 11th play of this drive. From the 20, 37, Gray with time. Got a man there, threw his hands for it. Incomplete at the five yard line. They'd beaten the double coverage. Hey, good pick up. Good pick up. Kier Brown does a nice job of breaking on this throw, but he's, he's going to be open. That throw is low into the inside. Thorpe is gonna to get to it and catch it. And so Dell Thurman dropping off underneath coverage, so you have to wait for him to clear the linebacker, and you might have had a shot at that one. The, the key to that was the incompletion on first down and creating a third and long situation. 38-yard attempt by Peter Check. Check has drilled it through in that field goal. Brought to you by Men's Warehouse. Men's Warehouse, you're going to like the way you look. A 38-yard field goal by Peter Check. New York's on the board. 6.07 to go here in the first quarter. And that was a meaningful and productive drive for the Sentinels. They really needed it. 7-3 Florida. Back here in Hartford, Dave Sims, Doug Flutie, Cordell Stewart, and Anita Marks, and the UFL crew on hand here. Comfortable night here in Hartford. And the New York Sentinels trying to get the first win of the season. They're 0-4. And Ted Cottrell's club, a 12-play, 53-yard drive and 541. Good balance in that drive. Five runs and six passes. Peter check. Five runs on six hits. Yep. <laughs> 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 Recovers, and here he comes. And they track him down at the 16-yard line. Nice work. Let's check in with Anita Marks. Dave, Doug, just a reminder, as I'm roaming the sidelines here for the Florida Tuskers, I have my Motorola Click with Moto Blur, and this is social networking all in one. I'm going to be on Twitter. For all our, our viewers out there, they can find me on Twitter. It's Sports Chick. If you've got any questions, comments about the UFL, the championship game coming up in Vegas on November 27th, or our quiz question, which is coming up, you want to stay tuned for that, find me on Twitter, look me up at Sports Chick, and I'll... I'll get right back to you. Thank you, Nita. Here's Bollinger back to throw. Got hit. Ball's in the air. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. Bollinger, pretty good hit. And he took down there. Almost coming up with an interception is three battle. I'll tell you what, that's the key to stop by getting pressure on him. I believe it's Simeon coming from the right side. They got to, uh, you know, uh, that's Sabe and Simeon. So I mean, that's the key to it is to get some pressure on him, make him rush a throw, and maybe you can come up with an interception. Look, he's smiling about it. All right, here we go. Let's turn it loose. This New York team is playing very well. That was a nice, long offensive drive. If they can hang on to the football, they're competing. Gary Kilbert was the intended receiver. The deep back is Michael Pittman. Delay, offense. Second down. Referee is Randy Cristal. 
Ted Cottrell's ball club. Defensively now with good field position. How about Florida? We talked about their dominance. Look at these numbers. Far and away the best in the UFL. It's top to bottom. And the other reason they don't lead in the rushing area is because they throw the ball so well. They can run the ball if they really wanted to. They bring Pittman into the backfield. Screen. And he gets some room. Pittman knocked out of bounds far side by Darian Williams. A nine-yard pickup. Michael Pittman played with the Super Bowl 37 winning Buccaneers. 29 carries, 134 against the Raiders in that dominant performance. Offensive coordinator Jay Gruden says, hey, you're going to pin your ears back and put some pass rush on you? Okay, here comes the screen. Nice little play call there. Try to relieve some of the pressure on his quarterback. Pittman with some good years in Arizona. Third down and six, 20-yard line. Bollinger, time to throw. And he's got his tight end to the 30-yard line. That's Wiggins with the catch, a 10-yard gain, brought down by Darian Williams. So Jermaine Wiggins, he's got talk show host in his <laughs> probably not uh, too distant future. Uh, you know, they're getting the pass rush now. They're getting after him a little bit up front. New York's getting a little bit of pressure. It's, uh, you know, Jermaine pulls it in. They get a nice positive gain. But the key to this is can New York get consistent pressure on Brooks Bollinger? First down catch. Go to, go to five three, go to five three. Good pursuit by New York, much better than last week. That was Pittman on the carry, three yards on the gain. A little more pep in the step of this defensive unit for the New York team. Ronnie Gent, tight end, we saw him take that spill when I think it was Willie Andrews hit him right at the ankles and upended him after a short catch in the previous series. You know, we've seen the ball on the ground a couple of times for New York and a couple of times on the kickoffs as well. Both these teams have been training down in Orlando. So to them, this is cold weather, and the ball's slipping out on them. Look at Simeon Rice. There's Michael Pitt with the deep back. Second down and seven, about the 33-yard line. Now in the backfield, good tackle. Tatum Bell with the, the catch, and he's brought down a three-yard gain. Good work in the secondary, Terrell Mays. Nice little open field tackle by Mays, creating a third down situation. It, it's not looking as easy for Florida as we are accustomed to seeing. And it really shows you the fight in this New York team. They, they've been knocked out of the playoff picture, the championship picture, yet they're playing for pride and they're playing some good football right now. Biddle left, Maxwell, he's the motion man towards the formation. Wide open. First down and a heck of a lot more. Maxwell run out of bounds. New York Territory at the 37-yard line by Trey Battle. 27 yards on the game. First down, Florida. <laughs> Couple crossing routes coming right out. It spins back out of it, actually. Does a pivot, comes back out. Maxwell's really come to his own into his own the last couple of weeks uh, the last game in that big battle uh, Against the Vegas team. He had some big big plays for, for This Florida team. He's really come around since Chaz Gesner gets his injury. He's really been in the forefront There's Foster out of the Wildcat hands off and a good defensive play Good defensive play in there by Brigham Harrell, number 96 on Tatum Bell. You got to be careful with Foster. He's the guy that was seen on via YouTube, and uh, that they passed that word along to Jim Hazlitt, and they were able to get him on the ball club. Here he is. He's a receiver running the Wildcat, handing off Foster. So be a heads up for him taking off, running some quarterback draws and counters, and possibly even throwing the ball out of there. Foster is a quarterback at Georgia Southern, won the Walter Payton Award. That's that Division II Best Player of the Year designation. Deep drop, plenty of time. Long throw, missed tackle. That's a first down. Dangerous situation for New York. Pittman has got a first down. He gets inside the 20, an 18 yard gain. Make that Murphy with the catch. So, first catch tonight by Frank Murphy. He had three catches against New York the last time they met. Terrell Mays missed the tackle. And Murphy makes him pay for it. Got, got to come up and wrap up and limit those gains. Can't give them the big chunks of yardage like that. There were a couple of receivers open on that round. Maxwell to the right. We got Biddle to the left. 
Sean Williams. They said they were going to give him some more carries, and boy, he paid a big price there. Lose a yard on that carry. Brought down by the middle linebacker, Joe Mortensen, who lost his hat. Well, they came back with the wham play again, and Seawright comes through and dives onto the ground, and so Wiggins just says, I'll hit you anyway. Play, play good stuff front side, though. Step up, deliver a blow. Nice play by Darian Williams get in there as well with Morton. Williams will remain in there. Williams, little guy, 5'7", 193 out of Alabama. Two tight ends set. Ballinger to throw. Really deep drop. Coming free knee. Over the middle is Maxwell, and he drops it inside the 10. Paul Pratt covering. Pratt with a nice breakup on the play, gets his hand in there, knocks it down. Pratt's a guy that they found in one of those free agent, every, anybody's gong show kind of things, where everybody can show up and get a workout. He got a free agent workout, oh, came in, hold on, hold on, hold on. they liked him. Ted says, now, if you play catch with the guy, he looks like he's never played the game before. He can't catch. But he gets in a game situation, and his ball skills are already. He had a pick in the first game. Not a bad situation. They overload the bottom of your screen. Three receivers. There's Bollinger. Down the middle. Off the hands of the tight end, Keith Heinrich. Who's the guy that Jim has the, raves about his talent, but also talks about the young man's inconsistency. That, put, that throw is a little high. Yeah, he misses the throw here. Watch it. You'll see Heinrich coming from right to left across the screen. Brooks has him in his sights and just misses the throw. But like you said, Heinrich is one of these guys that is just shows so much potential, but due to injuries or things he has that just can't understand, he hasn't hit that full potential. Veteran Matt Bryant from 37 yards. And he is right through the uprights and that field goal brought to you by Men's Warehouse. Men's Warehouse are going to like the way you look. Jim Haslett's club tax on another three. Yeah, I'm here. I've got a touchdown lead. I just turned it off. And last time these clubs met, it was back on October 10th. Florida came away with a 35-13 win. New York was in good shape. Thorpe with a touchdown. That and then the New York, huge fumble. they're up 10-0, ready to go up 17-0. That opened the gates for Florida. Bollinger finished with 225 yards, four TDs, 35-13 was the final. <laughs> so 10-3 Florida. Has its ball club cl team clearly the best in the UFL and already in the championship game. Well, he wants them to go out and prove that every week, and he wants to put separation between this Florida team and everyone else and have that distinction. There's no bones about it. He wants them to go out and play to the best of their ability every week, and if they can embarrass the opponent, so be it. Marlon Lucky back to get this kickoff. And the up men will take it at the 10. That's Noah Heron. And Heron returns to 20 yards. Noah just signed. He's out of Northwestern, and he played with Tim McGarrigle, the middle linebacker for Florida. In fact, Heron was the guy that scored a huge touchdown in overtime to beat Ohio State at Northwestern. And those two young men played together. We were looking at that game. He had 33 carries in that game. What a workhorse against Ohio State. Hey, far not a mic. Far not a mic. Shannon Woods is the deep back. They motion Sanders. They go at the toss. Nice work. My Shannon Woods out of Texas Tech. Six yards on the game. Check in with Cordell Stewart on the New York sideline. While we all wondering how this how this Sentinel team is playing, being at 0 and 4, 0 and 4 right now, uh, Coach Jeff Rutledge was talking to Quinn Gray, talking about the last play, trying to complete on the skinny route. These guys are still trying to discuss how can we get better, how can we get points, and how can we get better so we can win this football game we got. So no one's laying it down at all, guys. These guys are really working. Hey, fall down the mic. Fall what what down Cordell down says the skinny route, he means the skinny Well, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure out. That time he got the running back running into it looked like the tight end. That was Woods again. Two yards on the, on the game. 
They coming up with any answers down there, Cordell? Well, actually, they're trying to figure out they can get back to that play again on the skinny route because, like we talked about early in the game, they was talking about how the cornerback jumps to the inside, and the, the linebacker runs underneath and make it seem like it's a cover three, but it's really a cover two. So they're trying to figure out what can they do to beat that route. 15, 15 minutes in the book. Florida with a 10-3 lead over New York. We're in Hartford, Connecticut this evening. The UFL on versus. Glad you're with us. The second quarter starts in just a couple of minutes. The United Football League on versus is presented by AOL Fan House. Your sports live here. By USI, protect, manage, grow. By the Children's Miracle Network. And by Levi Water, better water, better planet. We're in Hartford, Florida with a 10-3 lead. UFL action here on versus glad you're with us. Comfortable night here in Hartford and New York. With the football down a score as we start the second quarter. Good defensive play again. Going down. Boy, that was a DB coming up in a hurry. And you can hear him say he didn't get it. It appears they're right. He had to get ball had to get to the 40, and it's shy of. Well, looks like they're gonna they are gonna go for it. Well, they're afraid of that Florida offense. So you want to maintain possession of the ball. They they put this trap play in for this week in short yardage situations and third down situations. And now Florida is just running the gap and, and beating the, the trap block. How about this? New York just burned its third and final timeout of the he first got, got, half. We will take the break with them. 10-3 Tuskers over the Sentinels. Let's we'll see what New York comes up with when we return. You got it. Run to the shade. Run to the shade. New York going for it. Fourth and a short one. And quarterback Quinn Gray got it. Picks up two first down Sentinels. Boy, did they need that. Fourth and one in your own end. Down 10 to three. Decides to go just quarterback wedge it. Let's get the first down. They, they wedge block the belly play just before that and had a guy shoot the gap. So he was he didn't want to take any chances on the play call. Can't say that I blame him. Tonight's UFL game is presented by Title Electro Energy Drink Title First Sport. Glad you could join us. UFL action here from Hartford, Connecticut. Dave Sims, Doug Flutie, Cordell Stewart, and Anita Marks in the UFL crew. First down for New York. Play fake. Quinn Gray running, intercepted, and then dropped. Oh, there was a pick. Should have had it. Quentin Culberson out of Mississippi State. Family with the Rams in St. Louis. Don't magnify your mistake. You get pressure here, you get flushed. Just throw the ball away, throw it out of bounds. That ball should have been picked off. Intended for Charles Ali, the fullback. But Ali cuts back into the picture and gets a hand in there and makes sure Culberson doesn't come up with the interception. Quinn Gray, four for seven, 41 yards. In passing, he made his first four completions, missed his last three. Second down play from the 40 toss play. They'll go with Woods, turns the corner. Nice yardage. And a big hit. There's a hit out of bounds. There's a flag festival down there on the New York sideline. Claude Roten, number 99, looks like he was involved in it. Five yards of the pickup. These, these, these big guys here, Roten's a beast inside, so he runs all the way out there to the sideline. I... Personal foul, number 99. 15-yard penalty, first down. He says, I'm a big guy. I ran a long way to get there. I'm tired. I got to hit something. I'm... He's gone a long way to get there. He's going to hit something. Got to get his money's worth. Hits him out of bounds. It's big 15. New York has been able to move the football. A little aid there from a penalty. You got to avoid that turnover. They should have turned it over two plays ago. They got away with it. Now make it count. That is uh, the quest at hand right now from the 40-yard line of Florida. 
New York going aboard a 38-yard Peter Check field goal at the 6.07 mark. Now trying to get the first touchdown of the night. Gray with time. Steps up and opens up for him. And Gray's a big man at 254 pounds. Pushes forward, picks up eight to McGarrigle, the middle linebacker, making the stop. It's not a bad decision. You know, he, he goes back. He doesn't see anything. He sees it open up in front of him, steps up and runs through. It's a positive play. He may have missed a read. A guy may have been covered. But don't make a negative play. Turn it into a positive situation. It's not every day you see a quarterback take a middle linebacker for a ride for a yard or two, and that's what we just saw. Pretty good explosion yeah. here by Quinn Gray. Shannon Woods, the deep back toss play coming to your side. McGarrigle on it. He'd make a nice play shooting that gap. Did you see that? He runs sideline to sideline so that was moves, well done. Moving laterally, runs us down and pushes it to the sideline. Great feet. Well, he found that gap and ran it down. A little undersized at six foot 240, but a good leader, a captain on the defensive side. When he graduated from Northwestern, he left as the NCAA's all-time leading tackler. Ninth play coming up. The young man we were talking to him yesterday paid great tribute to the veterans. His grandfather was a paratrooper in World War II, also served under the great General George S. Patton Jr. On the delay, not a lot there. Had to get to the 30, nowhere near it. Patrick Ch uh, Chikora makes the tackle for Florida. No gain. Garrigal in there as well. No, he didn't change it. He said he kept it on. Well, Florida put in some wrinkles this week defensively, and they were trying to get to one of them there. And there are some rules in this league as to what you can and cannot do, and they were pushing the envelope there. Yep. Oh, no. So the New York Sentinels going for it again on fourth down. They're successful one for one so far in the season. Two for five on the season, one for one tonight. And that will do it. That will get him a first down. They throw it to the tight end. We saw Ronnie get leave, and he's since come back. Picks up seven. First down, New York. That's a great throw, great timing. Quinn Gray sticks it in his belly. McGarrigle's running from inside out to run to the tight end. He's squeezing this throw. Look at that window. So tight. He stuck it right in there. Great fourth down conversion by Gent. Right again. The Eagles in 04, spent three years with Cincinnati and a couple of years with the Saints. Yeah, this may be the best looking drive New York's had all year. One of them. Play clock winding down. They got to get this playoff for Great time. One on one route in the corner for Thorpe. And wow, he almost made the catch. Like here, Brown also had equal opportunity to make that play, but it was a one on one. And it's broken up. Thorpe. Fakir Brown. Well, Fakir Brown is the guy that Hazlitt said is the best player on the team. He's a phenomenal corner, started for seven years in the NFL. Great coverage on the play. Thorpe does an outstanding job of coming back to the ball, avoiding the interception, and the ball gets ripped out, ends up incomplete. Both these guys fighting for the ball. Great efforts on both parts. It sure was. Thorpe ripped it out. 12th play of this drive. How about New York? Shannon Woods is the deep back. Doesn't get the call. They go again. That sideline. And behind. Steve Sanders into double coverage. They had Ricky Manning Jr. and Jerome Carter. Manning number 20 and Carter 23. <laughs> Quinn really forced this one in there a little bit. He's trying to stick this one on the back shoulder on a corner route with great coverage. That's extreme confidence in the throw. Now you're setting yourself up in a third and long situation. They've taken consecutive shots deep, and now you put yourself in a tough third and ten situation. From the 26-yard line, you got Thorpe to the left. Just get in motion, coming back. Looking left, quick slant. It's dropped inside the 20, trying to get it to Thorpe. Couldn't hold on. So Thorpe and Brown battling again, and Brown wins that one. Fakir Brown covers the slam better. Boom, that ball should have been there a half a second, a half a tick sooner. And, and you give Brown that opportunity, he's going to close on it. He plays the ball so well, slaps that thing down, creates a fourth down on the field goal attempt. 
There's Peter Check. He's already hit one from 38. This will be a 44 yarder. As long as the season is 45. You get a look at it. Does it draw? It just does. Nicely done. Peter Check, the 45 yard field goal to make it a 10 6 ball game. So you got the winless New York team more than holding its own against the undefeated Florida Tuskers. Good looking driving. Ted Cottrell. Get in, baby. Get in. And it does. Three on the board. And we got a four point game. <laughs> Offensive line coach and tight end coach John Tice working with his group New York a couple of drives have led to field goals tonight Peter check from 38 and 44 yards this evening nice performance thus far I mean if they, if they can get a couple of plays a couple of catches a couple of throws offensively they're, they, they're gonna be in good shape they're right there I mean, last time they played them they had over 100 yards rushing they've done some good things this, tonight so far Finish a drive off and get it in the end zone. Andrews from about the eight. 25. Pirouette to the 30 31 yard line. Brought down by Nathan Williams. Let's go downstairs to Anita Marks. Guys, I'm standing here with wide receiver Ches Gessner in game three against the California Redwoods. You injured yourself. Kind of take us back. What exactly happened? Uh, just caught a pass coming across the middle. Uh, tried to turn it up and got brought down from behind. And a guy kind of came down on me at an awkward angle and uh, just landed in that that one in a million spot. Which just uh, just kind of caught my elbow and uh, did some damage to my rotator cuff. Some high expectations for you and Brooks. You guys played together in the NFL and you were his go-to guy. How difficult is it for you to watch this team? They're number one on offense, but unfortunately you're not out there, Chad. It's definitely hard. I mean, uh, but it's bittersweet because these guys are doing great. And and uh, I wanted to come back after I got my surgery and be a part of this. Uh, these guys have been working hard, and I felt like I was a part of it to begin to begin with. But, you know, let these guys finish it off, and I, I'm going to try to do everything I can to help oh, them out. Really quick before we let you go, when you were a teenager, you played basketball against our own Doug Flutie. Be honest, does he have game? He's got game for an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a little caveat, triple. yes indeed. It's Sideline Report brought to you by our Fan House. We're inside information on the UFL. Go to fanhouse.com. Good looking run there. That was Tatum Bell. And Leon Williams, boy, he got the worst of that one. Tatum Bell, good run. It's a first down for Florida. Tess Gessner was having an outstanding year. Absolutely, and you know where they miss him is in the red zone. He ran what what Cordell was talking about skinny posts He'd run these seam routes and put the ball up top Brooks would put it up high to him He'd just go up and snatch it for touchdowns They miss a little of that Marcus Maxwell has stepped in and done exceptionally well But Chaz really brought something to the red zone for him Tall receiver he certainly missed like Somebody's a little wobbly there is that PJ Alexander the veteran Let's go, come on. From Syracuse, by way of the Saints, Denver and Atlanta. Now he was banged up and he had that bye week to get healthy. I think he had a bad shoulder. And uh, you know, they were hoping he could make it through this game, but apparently it's uh, acting up on him again. 10-6 ball game, Florida. Got a Brooks Bollinger to Foster, four yard TD pass. And a 37 yard Matt Bryant field goal. For New York, Peter Check with a couple of field goals from 38 and 44 yards. P.J. Alexander. He'll take a seat. Fred Matua will replace him. Veteran from Southern Cal has been with Detroit, Cleveland, Tennessee, and Washington. At the end of tonight's game, we're going to select the StubHub fan favorite play of the game. StubHub, where fans buy and sell tickets. There's Fred. And a USC. Been with a couple of clubs, as you mentioned, Detroit, Cleveland, Tennessee, and the Redskins. Get it out to the tight end. That's Wiggins. And Wiggins into New York territory. A first down for Florida, 10 yards on the game. Second catch tonight for Jermaine Wiggins. Well, Jermaine is all by himself off a great play action fake coming out the back door across the field. <laughs> Williams runs him down and catches it. He's not a speedster anymore. All right, Jermaine will not. He, he doesn't brag about being fast. Doesn't he is just so crafty. 
He slips out the back door. He makes good moves. He's a veteran guy. Great hands. He will catch the ball from the shotgun. 49-yard line in New York. Bollinger again with time. And feeds it in. That's a first down. Good second effort to get it inside the 35-yard line. That's Tay Biddle. 17 yards on the pickup. First down, Florida, brought down by Joe Mortensen. Biddle just goes down, runs a deep curl route. And Bollinger throws this with a lot of touch, you know? He just kind of gives them the ball. Sees him, turns, sees he's got an open window. Look at there's a little arc on that ball on a curl route. And it just throw the ball as hard as you need. You don't have to gun everything. Just give it to him. Eight for 14, 97 yards for Brooks Bollinger. Make the stretch play, stepping up. And he's getting running room. Across the 30 to about the 28-yard line. It'll be about four or five yards short of the first down. Joe Morton's in the middle linebacker gets it. And Florida on the move. This drive started back at the 31-yard line. Yeah, they get a little pressure on him because he's got to hold the ball because there was great coverage downfield. Mays and Battle double covered Murphy running the deep corner route. It gives the defensive line an opportunity to, to make him hold the ball for a split second, get pressure on him. Got Michael Pittman in the backfield now. So I get Simeon Rice see if he can get something going on the edge. Offset eye. Give it to Pittman. And boy, the corner came in, made a good play. One yard gain. Good play on the corner. Paul Pratt, number 37. Well done. He's a free agent guy that went to the Gong Cho tryout and has made a name for himself in this league and doing an excellent job. Now he's showing some run support. Now this whole New York team is they're playing inspired right now. They really are. So much better than what we saw last the last couple of weeks. Absolutely. You know, put that professional pride on the line. They're battling the number one team in the league. Wiggins resets. Third and six. Wide open Pittman. He's got a first down to the 10. A first and goal for Florida. Pittman sneaking out of the backfield. 23 yards in the game. Trey Battle finally makes the stop. That's a third catch tonight for Michael Pittman out of Fresno State. Runs a little angle route, what we used to call post route by the back. It's a it's a post route floor back, little angles. Sticks his foot in the ground and cuts. He's just a great receiver in the pass game to have. He throws a little stiff arm there to top it off and, and make a nice gain out of play. But Pittman is such a weapon out of the backfield. Florida bidding for its second touchdown. Pitts, foul ball, that's critical. He can pick it up and run. It's recovered by New York. David Lofton, the son of the Hall of Famer. So David Lofton comes up with the loose ball, and New York turns away the Florida Tuskers. James is home, smiling and jumping. David Lofton comes up with the loose ball. Big turnover for New York. That's as big a moment in the season as the New York Sentinels have had all season. Florida by four. Well, the Florida Tuskers have had three visits to the red zone. They've come away with one touchdown. And here's the a turnover by Tatum Bell. It was right there. Simeon Rice jumps on Bell and David Lofton had clear field. Only one man to beat would have been the quarterback, Brooks Bollinger. Boy, if he could have kept his feet, he had a real opportunity ahead of him. But just recovering the fumble is a huge play for this New York team. From the 19-yard line, first and 10 for New York. Touchdown to give him the lead. 4.58 to work over the middle. There's a first down and more. Let's check in with Cordell Stewart. That was Noah Heron on the catch. Cordell? I'm here with David Lofton, the guy who recovered the fumble just now. Tell us what happened on that play. It looked like a counter pitch and you were in position. What happened on the play? I mean, that's some weird seeming film. Uh, something that a lot of teams run is the belly flip uh, when they think that the offense is going to be overloaded to the strong side. Now, I read it, saw the tackle pop up. You know, so just got lucky the ball bounced my way. Should have kept my feet and scored, but... Well, you had a lot of green in front of you. I think when your dad played James Lofton back in the day, when he saw that much green downfield, he took it to the house. You didn't learn anything from what dad did? I tried. I tried. You know, it's, it's, it's hard coming off the sideline cold. That was my first play, so. No. You were nervous? No, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Good job. Good job. Back to David, you guys on top. David Lofton, Julius, father's son. Looks like it sounds just like it. 
Yeah. Nice play. Yeah, that's it. How about that? His first, first play, play, and he's first cold. Play. The ball, it's like in baseball. You put a guy in, ball finds him. Somebody comes in and injured. I tell you what, next time he gets an opportunity like that, that'll be a six. Great. Nice release. First down. He gets it to LeBrandon Tofield. That's a gain of 12. To Keir Brown. Well, you can feel this New York team got a good rhythm going. They really do. And if Tofield is healthy, he's been banged up a little bit this year, in and out, in and out. But he's a heck of a ball player. Now, Gray is looking more and more comfortable. Relax steps up through here. You take it. You're the running back. You get paid to run. Take it and go. Positive plays. Even if it's a little improvisation, if it's a shovel pass, whatever it is, just make some positive plays. Three-step drop. Oh, a zip pass. A little bit too hot for running at the tight end. But he was open. Huddle, huddle, huddle. Excuse me. Last time these clubs met, it was all Florida. 35 13 at the end. The New York ball club had a chance. They had a 10 nothing lead. Going in to make it 17 nothing. Fumbled it. And Florida took over and dominated the game. Gray now 7 14 passing for 78 yards. 5 1, 5 1. Sanders in motion. Pretty good time and good operation. Good catch by Jamel Smith. Jamel Smith out of Mississippi State for seven yards. Well, there's one of the wrinkles uh, that, that Haslam was talking about. He brought a strong side blitz, brought basically bringing two guys off the corner strong side, but with quick rhythm passing, the ball's out. Nice completion, positive gain on the weak side. Another first down for the Sentinels at the 41-yard line. The Florida Tuskers. They send Thorpe top of your screen with Sanders in the slot. Gray steps in. It's Tofield out of the backfield. Run down by McGarrigal, the middle linebacker. Game of four. We're going back to that last play. You know, the completion looks like it's on Fakir Brown. And it is. But Fakir is responsible. He was responsible for getting all the way back and covering the deep half of the field in that situation. And then just reacts to the throw and comes up and makes a tackle. So he really didn't get beat one-on-one. -on -one. Time running down, closing in on the two-minute warning. 10-6 Florida. New York does not have a timeout remaining. They finished with all their first-half timeouts at the 14-20 mark of the second quarter. Will be a second down play. 37-yard line. Double screen. Thorpe makes the catch. Good defensive play. Ricky Manning Jr. He has seen that play. Veteran out of UCLA. Let's get down to Juanita Marks. The right guard PJ Alexander has a head injury. He's going to be questionable for the return. Also, I want to remind you, as we mentioned earlier, linebacker Tim McGargo played at Northwestern with the New York Sentinels running back Noah Heron. This is part of our Motorola Click with Moto Blur trivia question. Tim and Noah played for Northwestern the year they beat the Ohio State University 33 to 27. Noah rushed for two touchdowns that game, one in overtime for the win, and we're looking for the year. What is the year? All right, Adina, thank you very much. We've got a good game going here. 10-6 Florida over New York. Two-minute warning. Back with more right after this. Florida with the lead 10-6, but New York driving their Florida's territory at the 38-yard line. New York has had the ball a little bit longer than Florida. Florida leads the league in time of possession, and New York is dead last. Third down play. Over the middle. Nice catch. That's good for first down. Got it to run again the tight end for six-yard first down New York. Just a great spot for the ball, and Gent makes a great catch. Watch McGarrigal jump on him. Actually, I think it's Thurman on him, so he throws the ball away from the defender, which is Thurman, and Gent goes to the ball and makes a great catch. Great spot for the ball. When Gray having a nice game, 11 of 18, 103. Quarterback draw, penalty flag. As he gets to the 25, picks up about four. We got all stars, baby. Don't worry, good shit. Good shit. Offside. Defense, number 98. Oh, 
five yard penalty first down Randy Cristal our referee tonight a couple of weeks left get in on the premier season of the UFL and purchase tickets but, oh, oh, oh. buy your individual tickets visit UFL football.com or for group tickets call 877 UFL 2009 today don't forget this Saturday Las Vegas against California it's at San Jose State and both of those teams at two and two and both of them trying to join Florida one of those two teams going to join Florida in the championship game that's a 6 p.m. Pacific time start next week we'll have Florida and California will be at AT&T in San Francisco that's an incompletion for Sanders at the 15. Now, if you're the New York Ball Club, you've got 110 left, no times out remaining, and psychologically and emotionally, it's all about getting six here. Yeah, it really is. You've been down here twice already and came away with three both times. You want to take the lead and emotionally take the lead on a good Florida team into the half. It's good that Peter Check has been good from 38 to 44 yards, but they want a touchdown. Receivers both sides. He's got to get set or it's illegal. Now they flood the left side. And it's caught. Tight end round again inside the 15 to the 14. That's a first down. Nine yards and a pickup. They're going to have to spike the ball. We're inside a minute to play here in the first half. New York burned all three of its timeouts. He's going to go ahead and call a play here. You don't want to waste the down in the red zone if possible. They were spent on their timeouts. 40 seconds into the second quarter. Look at this. Gray, can he get something out of it? Throws it away. And that's a good play. Boy, what an inopportune time to have a bobble. And Gray is down. He took a big lick at the end of that, just trying to throw the football away. This is the play before. Now, this is an exceptional throw right snap. on the money. He's been very accurate tonight. He's put the ball exactly where it needs to be. And then the bobble a snapper, have it go by you in this situation to take a big hit. Well, Engel Martin getting ready quickly. And his wife, Jennifer, welcome in their first child right on Monday. Here's what happened. And went. And that can happen as you're, you're anticipating, you're looking downfield, oh. trying to make it. What a lick he took. took. A big hit, shot to the head, coming from the left side of your screen there. And then bent back on his knee, too. That really is a big time hit. McKinley Boykin got him. We'll take a break. Engel Martin warming up. See if he can get him in for six when we come back with 35 seconds to go here in the second quarter. So Quinn Gray was having an outstanding game, a valiant game, and he just took a vicious hit. And it looks like he may be done for the night. Angle Martin coming into the game, and let's listen into the call of the game brought to you by Motorola. Here's Jeff Rutledge. Brent Love, hey, if you come out, you got it, you take it. If not, you got to throw it back, throw it away. Don't take a sack. All right? No sack. Key phrase, no sack. No sack. He's going to run a sprint out, try to keep him comfortable here. Probably a corner route is what he's looking for. And, and the key here is you're coming off the bench. Make a safe throw to start. Usually I, I love coming off the bench. Coming off the bench in the red zone is a little different story. we got to go. we got to go. He's got a 17 route. So he should have a corner route by his tight end and a hitch route on the outside. And he lost 10 seconds on the clock because they didn't have any timeouts remaining. And he threw it away. Martin involved there. Come on, come collision on. and Quinn Gray. Tough break for him because a lot of things are going well for him. Confidence was building on every throw. He had great rhythm. Timing for the most part was really good and just takes a vicious hit. As we talked, he, he sat out last week and Ingles got the start. Ingle Martin. So this was a great opportunity for him and he was taking advantage of it. It's a great drive here by New York. This will be the 12th play of the drive that started on its own 19-yard line. Toefield, the deep back. Will sprint out to the right. Martin throwing crosses, but he intercepted! Intercepted! Ricky Manning Jr. in New York is turned away with 10 seconds to go in the first half. 
This was actually the play they originally called. They must have changed the play on the last one and gotten back to it here. So it's a sprint out. He's looking for an outside route. Then the deep corner. Corner's not there. But then he works back across the back of the end zone. He wants to throw it to the Didn't inside. See. Yeah, Manning underneath. Didn't see him. You got to put that up and over the top in a safe place and throw it away. It's dangerous throwing back in the middle. Doesn't mean you can't do it. Just throw that up and away and, and kick a field goal. Tried to get it into Confonso Thorpe. So Florida. This Ten is, seconds left. Oh, brother. Things get so tight down in the red zone in the goal line area. It's so easy to make a mistake like that. Yes, indeed. That's going to do it for the first half. Florida Tuskers, number one team in the UFL against the winless New York Sentinels. Tough break for New York in the final seconds. As Engel Martin comes in off the bench, Cole throws a late pick as New York was in the red zone for the first time tonight. And they get turned away. 10-6, the score at halftime will take you inside both locker rooms. We've got plenty more coming your way from Hartford right after this. back everybody Quinn Gray being carted off boy he had such a fine first half tough break and he went 12 for 21 for 112 yards right now let's go inside the Tuskers locker room and listen to offensive coordinator Jay Gruden <laughs> Not a lot going on right now, but earlier Jay Gruden, Jay Gruden was talking about a lot of things were available for the Florida Tuskers. Cordell Stewart had a chance to catch up with quarterback coach for New York, Jeff Rutledge, a few minutes ago. I'm with Coach Jeff Rutledge. Coach, what happened to Quinn Gray on that play? He got hit, and uh, they're telling me it's his left hip. But other than that, I really don't know what the extent of it is. Yeah, right now, right now you have um, you have uh, Engel. Court, Engel, Engel coming in now. Engel Martin coming in. How do you feel about him going? Considering he hadn't had any practice all well, week. He, he practiced early because we had some days off. We just, you know, made poor decision there at the end. But uh, hey, we're still, still in the ball game. We get the ball coming out. So, if something's happened to him. So who's your third guy coming in next? And that's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, back to you guys up top. Thank you, Cordell. I like Jeff Rutledge's reaction. Not going to happen. No, otherwise it's probably Cordell. <laughs> Suda. <laughs> not a bad performance first half by New York. This is West Chandler, the offensive coordinator. Quarterback, you get it, you got to play smart. Keep the football, throw it away if you get in trouble. Throw it away. You don't throw it to the defense. Okay. <laughs> but look, the game ain't hard. It's simple. All right? West. Start with hit or be hit. So we're going to hit second half. We get the ball West first. Chandler, a little exercise. Right? And that can happen when you're on four and you're down, but you played well in the first half. All right? Nita Mark standing by right now with Jermaine Wiggins. Yeah, Doug and Dave in the Florida Tuskers locker room with Jermaine Wiggins. Two receptions, 20 yards, three stints in the red zone, a touchdown, a field goal, and unfortunately a fumble. Not what you were expecting in the first half. No, no, it wasn't. But, you know, we, we still got to keep maintaining. We still got to keep going out there and, and pushing drives. Um, you know, we were able to come away with some field goals, but we know we want touchdowns. But, you know, other than that, we just got to keep, keep maintaining on offense, keep moving the ball. What offensively can we expect to see differently in the second half, Jermaine? Um, you know, I don't think we can expect to see anything differently. I think we're doing a good job out there offensively. We just got to close out drafts. Fantastic. Good luck in the second half. Back to you guys. All right, Anita, thank you. Florida 1 for 3 in the red zone. New York 0 for 2 in the red zone. Good ball game. 10-6 Florida over New York. It's the undefeated Florida Tuskers and the winless New York Sentinels. We'll continue. More from Hartford after this. Florida Tuskers leading just about every offensive category there is here in the UFL in the premier season. They have a 10-6 lead over the New York Sentinels, winless in the first portion of the season. Dave Sims along with Doug Flutie. 
I'll tell you what, good first half. It, it really, really was. was. really was. And we were worried when New York turned it over early, but yeah. they got a crucial turnover in the red zone from Florida to keep them in the ball game and actually had an opportunity to come out with the lead there and blew it. That they did. Let's take a look at some of the first half highlights. A lot of good action here in the first uh, 30 minutes. But this was critical early on. First punt, a turnover by New York after they get a nice defensive stand. They really did play well on defense. They come back and they turn it over right away and cause a seven-point turnover for them. Right in the end zone for Foster. But back came New York. Little angle out there. Quinn Gray really looked comfortable throwing a football. Got him down close, but again, had to settle for a field goal. Field goal, first one uh, by 38 yards of Peter Check. And then here's more of the offense for Florida. Florida really feels like they can do anything they want. They just be a little more consistent. They did turn the ball over once. They're getting just field goals. They want to finish their drives. Here's a field goal by Matt Bryant. And Matt Bryant, 37 yards. New York comes right back. 15 yards on that personal foul. And then a nice pass break up to Keir Brown. That saved six. That led to another field goal. Here comes Florida right back. Hitting it on the carry. But this is critical right here. Fumbled by Tatum Bell. David Murphy had a chance maybe for six. Good looking drive. We get down the last couple seconds. Queen Gray fumbles. Takes a vicious hit. Gets knocked out of the game. Engel Martin, he's in. As a practice in a few days, steps in. Forces a throw trying to make a play. When you'd like to just take that ball, throw it away, get the three, and move on. Engel Martin, though, did practice early in the week, and he is prepared to play, so he will be ready to roll in the second half. Your first half stats. First downs, you get rushing yards, about a push, passing, pretty much a push, Just turnovers to store. Look at the first downs. New York 12 to 8 over Florida. I mean, th it's impressive with the time of possession and moving the football and controlling it. They were able to run the ball for over 100 yards on them last time they played. They're running the ball okay, they're throwing the ball fine. Now, Engel Martin has to step it up and be consistent. That's a lot to ask for him. Didn't practice that much. He and his wife welcomed their first child on Monday. So he's going off limited practice action, and they're going to ask a lot of him in the second half. We'll get to the second half kickoff and more when we return to Hartford, Connecticut, right after this. It's the UFL on Versus. United Football League on Versus is presented by Wilson Sporting Goods, the official football of the UFL. By Rogers Athletics, power, skill, victory. By Riddell, what's your sport? And by Cutter's Gloves, no other glove performs like this. Nice night here in Hartford, Connecticut. Some of the young fans here. On hand in a 10-6 ball game, Engel Martin. Guess what, young man? It's all on you. He's the only quarterback they've got left. This could be a heck of a week for him. First child on Monday. First child on Monday. Flew in today for the game to get here. He's been away from the team for a couple of days. Where's our dog? And now he's stepping into the second half of a competitive ball game and a chance to go win it. Last week in his first start, 21-36, 173. A touchdown and an interception. He was sacked three times, and he ran it four times for 11 yards. Yeah, the, one, the, the big difference between the two quarterbacks, when, when Martin's in the game, he's going to usually, I know he threw an interception, but usually be a little more conservative, Get protecting the here, football, the hitting his check right downs now. and playing it safe. And they yeah, weren't yeah. real explosive, but they didn't move the ball. When Quinn Gray's in the game, they go up the field a little more, a little more aggressive. So let's see if he can find a blend of the two, make some big plays, and keep protecting the ball. Last time these two teams met earlier in the season, and that date was October 30th. First half possession, Florida had the ball for almost 23 minutes to seven to New York. This time, much better. New York had the ball longer, 16 minutes and changed to 13. Here's Marlon Lucky on the second half kickoff return. 25-yard line, breaks free. He can set up his block. He had a blocker to his left. He chose not to set it up, but he still makes a good play. 34, uh, 34 yards on the return, so a good starting position here for Ingle Martin. The other aspect that Martin brings is his feet. He, he can move, he can make him miss, take off and run for first downs. We saw King, Quinn Gray doing it, but he's more lower your shoulder, run over somebody and get come five on, to eight. On. 
where Eagles got a little little shake to him. To McGarrigal took the brunt of one shot. Middle linebacker. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come Best on, starting come on, come position on. for New York. It's at the 43-yard line. Martin to throw. And incomplete. Tried to get it to Ronnie Gant. And Engelmart took a heck of a shot from come Andrews. On, no, come on. Willie Andrews, the strong side, the strong huddle, safety. Huddle. We review the game where game plan for New York. Well, the number one huddle thing up. was to make Brooks hold the ball a little bit, get some pressure on him, and they've done that. They've hit him a few times and made him rush a couple throws, uh, get Quinn's confidence going. He was doing that for the whole first half and get lucky. They were a little lucky hey, with the nine, turnover five, in the red nine. zone. Maybe not Marlon, luckily. Yeah, yeah. Lucky, although he did have a nice little kick return. Yes, he did. Sanders and Fort to the left. Three-step drop. Downfield. Off the hand of the intended receiver to Cortez Hankton. Cortez Hankton, six foot two hundred out of Texas Southern. Five catches on the season. <laughs> Florida's getting aggressive. Little press coverage. The net. Come on, come on. Making a play on him. He's good coverage, but the ball was in a decent spot. Hankton could have turned and, and pulled that one in. So you get one quarterback for part of your week. You don't have this quarterback back at all, and he throws maybe a little different ball, right? Well, you know, the timing's a little different, and the, the, the pace of the ball may be different. Martin's got time. And too far. Went for Hankton again. Florida's decided they're playing some man-to-man -man coverage and they're going to force Martin to go up the field with the ball and make the downfield throw. So that'll bring on Scott Player. First punt for Scott. 39-year-old veteran, the last with a single bar face mask. That still cracks me up every time I see it. Very old school. He's going to hope for a good bounce. Goes out of bounds inside the 25 at about the 23. 3.2 second hang time on a 33-yard punt. Nothing doing on that first offensive possession for New York in the second half. Now it's Florida's turn. Looks Bollinger and Kepley with a four-point lead. Thirty-one seconds into the second quarter, Florida with a 10-6 lead over New York. Tonight's UFL game is presented by Title Electro Energy Drink. Title, thirst for it. Dave Sims, Doug Flutie, Nita Marks, Cordell Stewart, the UFL crew. First time for Florida getting its hands on the ball here in the second half. That's what Bollinger did in the first half. New York just had its first three and out after having three consecutive double-digit play possessions. Now Florida with the ball. Tatum Bell taken down. No gain on the play. Nice. Delivery that time by Terrell Mays. Terrell Mays with a nice play. A little nervous for New York right now. They went a three and out. Florida is the second half team has looked exceptionally well in the second half of their ball games. A slow starter. So this is this is where you get a little nervous. You've got to come up with a defensive stop. And what was interesting too during halftime, offensive coordinator Jay Gruden said, "Hey, everything is there." Yeah, absolutely, and it's a matter of consistency on offense, and that's it. You know, it's in your own hands. If they just execute, they're going to be making plays and walking down the field. Billing will snap. Offense, number 58. Five-yard penalty, second down. So penalty on the center, Noka Lucas. For your veteran out of Oregon. Jim Hazlitt, he's been head coach at St. Louis with the Rams at the Saints in New Orleans. And we'll take a look at the game plan. Let's review the Tuskers game plan yep. brought to you by Game World. They wanted to come out. They wanted to come out and have a fast start, and they didn't get it. And they haven't made very many big plays in the passing game. And, you know, you want to peak going into the play or going into the championship and get better each week. Deep middle, wide open, tape it on first down the midfield. 32 yards on the game. Bollinger went back with plenty of confidence and delivered a strike. Leon Williams on the tackle. Again, Tate Biddle, he gets so wide open downfield each week, something. And I, and I got to look to Jay Gruden in game planning. They look at the whole first half, come out in the second half with some adjustments, and boom, they get a big play out of Biddle down, wide open down the middle of the field. Good job to go up and get the second catch of the night. 
Second catch of the night for Biddle. That was 32 yards. Nice run by Tatum Bell. Sean, Sean. Nice little cutback play by Tatum. Good job by the O-line up front, pushing. He just reads it and cuts it backside. It, it appears to me that Florida is going to get it rolling now offensively. Big offensive line, Petiti, Davis, Lucas, Fred Matua, and Seth Wand. There's a change of pace back, Shaw Williams. Let's change. Picks up seven. Little guy out of Alabama. Transferred to yes. Alabama from Texas yes. Tech where he began his career. Leon Williams nice. makes the tackle. Anthony Davis had a big block up front. The offensive line starting to take control. Well, good news, Quinn Gray. He's coming back, albeit limping, but coming back, so. He may have something left in the tank if necessary, but I would say right now, give, given that, looking at that limp, this is Engel Martin's ball game. Looking at that hit he took. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate hit. Breaks open for Williams in the clear. Boy, he got to the second and third level in a heartbeat to the 27-yard line, a 13-yard game. Same exact play. Watch for the cutback again. You get a seal block on the backside. Offensive line just pushing their guys and allowing the back to cut off of their blocks. It's nothing complicated there. They're not pulling people. They're not getting angles. They're just getting a good push, letting the defense run themselves out of the play and cutting it back side. Sean Williams in the October 30th meeting averaged five yards, almost six yards to carry against New York. How much there? Tatum uh, Bell with Brian Save making the stop. Cordell Stewart has the quarterback, Quinn Gray. Yeah, Quinn, uh, you got hit in the hip. Tell us what happened. I took a knee to the hip. Doc says the hip pointer. Check and see if I can go. Got to be out here for my boys. So what are you about to do right now to find out? Just check and warm up, run a little bit, see what I can do. You think that's going to slow you down at all? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to let my boys down. <laughs> thank you, guys. Back up to you. Hi, right, Quinn. And thank you, Cordell. <laughs> Team Oil, the deep drop. Over the middle, Jermaine make that the other tight end. Keith Heinrich, his second catch. That's another first down for Florida. That's an 11-yard gain. Darian Williams there for New York. Boy, they're met you're tearing them apart on this drive. Methodical, and Heinrich just sits it down. Nice job of reading the zone, turns, gives his quarterback a target. It, it, it's looking easy right now, especially in the run game. It, it, and when you start running the ball so well, then all of a sudden pass protection's a little better, and Brooks can stand there and survey the field. Everything's working right now. Florida just outside the 15-yard line in the Motorola red zone. Up the middle with authority goes Michael Pittman. Florida in the Motorola red zone. Introducing the Motorola Click with Motorblart. First phone with social skills available exclusively at T-Mobile. Williams with another catch. Survey and a couple of nice double teams up to the linebacker. Survey comes off to make the tackle, but they're, I'll tell you what, they're, they're getting good push up front on the zone, inside zone. Mark five three, Mark five three. Florida tonight. Touchdown, a field goal, and a fumble in his possessions. On the delay, Pittman with room. Bang down at the five. He gets inside the five. That's good enough. Take on a mark. The mark is just outside the five, so it's just short of a first down. Ryan Wallace making the tackle. Veteran from Temple. How about the sell of the draw action by Bollinger? He has his head up field, even a little minimal pump fake. It really looked like a three-step drop to me, like he was going to throw the football, and they slipped the draw on him. This drive started back at the Florida 23. Now third down and a short one outside the five. First down, Tatum Bell. Same end of the field where he fumbled the pitch out. But now first and goal. At the three-yard line after the two-yard gain, Joe Mortensen on the tackle. Back up, Got everybody. Great little block from his fullback, Andrew Pittock, there on the linebacker. Really busting him up. There's a good look at Jay Gruden. Jay calling his red zone plays. Now, he always schemes some things up here for Brooks, and he gets him at least one easy touchdown pass a game. Got wide side, top of the field. Love the play. They go up the middle, and that's a touchdown. Good. Hard running by Michael Pittman, a three-yard TD. Make that Tatum Bell on the score. 
And Florida ups its lead to 16 to 6. Well, they didn't have to get too fancy this time down the red zone. They just hammered the football. Just pushed it right down the field. A couple little passes mixed in, but let's just watch the power. Double team off to the linebacker Ooh, fullback. and lay it up in there. Pinnock, the fullback, getting a good bust. He, he, he looks for contact, oh, Pinnock. man, that was a car crash. Extra point, Matt Bryant. And that's a statement drive by the Florida Tuskers. Sure was. Their defense gets a three and out. They get the ball in their hands and just walk it down the field. It's an 11 play 77 yard drive at 609 and that extra point brought to you by StubHub. StubHub where fans buy and sell tickets. It's Florida by 11. Shot out down the by 17 to 6 Florida. And one of the quotes we heard during the uh, that was 9 on 7. That was too easy. Yeah, Tatum Bell talking about it. It felt like 9 on 7, which is the inside run portion of a practice where you just hammer the ball and you run a set of 15 inside run plays or something. And they just ran the ball down the field. He loves that kind of football. Drive summary brought to you by Title Electro Energy Drink. Title Thirst Sport. 11 plays, 77 yards, and 6 09. It's like Martin. They'll stay with him, and they better get a touchdown here. They're at a critical juncture in this ballgame. There's Bryant's kick. Going down to Marlon Lucky. Bobbles in trouble. Loose ball. It's like he got it back. But boy, Ted Cantrell and his coaching staff had to have hearts and throat. They have had a hard time holding on to the football Just tonight. Catch the ball, son. Eyes on the ball. Is this considered a return? Is that a 10-yard return, kicking it forward and falling on it? Come on, Marlon. Let's go. Catch the ball. Get it up the field. That's all. You're already down 17-6, all right? Three fumbles, one lost tonight. And uh, <laughs> compounding things, they've got an injured player. Let's go. So Daniel Oliphant, the injured player, and we'll get an update when we return. But a very important position for the New York Sentinels, down 11, 8.15 to go in the third. Man, oh man. Welcome back, everybody. 17 to 6, Florida over New York. Daniel Oliphant. Boy, somebody rolled go, up his go, leg go. on that kickoff return, and now go. New York did its first three drives, averaging 4.3 yards per play. The last time they had their hands on the ball to open the second half, a three and out didn't pick up any yards. It's all on Engel Martin. Come on, three. Trap play. Oh, ball loose. <laughs> Boy, New York is lucky again. That's the fourth fumble tonight. They've only lost one. They're catching a break. Anita Marks, what do you have? Guys, as you know, I'm roaming the sidelines with my Motorola click with Moto Blur. We've been listening. We've been hearing from the fans. The first question, what is the average salary of a player here in the UFL? Well, the average salary is $35,000 for the season. Quarterbacks do make $60,000. The other question is, how many players does the UFL expect the NFL to pick up? Well, we spoke to Jim Hazlitt. He said that for Keir Brown, Brooks Bollinger, Tay Biddle, a number of guys he expects to end up in the NFL come November 28th. That's when they're going to be available. And also, the answer to our trivia question, the year we were looking for, is 2004. That's when Tim McGarbo and, of course, Noah Heron played for Northwestern and beat the Ohio State University. The year is 204, guys. All right, Anita, thank you. 27-yard gain to Cafonzo Thorpe. First down for New York. Much needed first down. Give him some playing room great, here. Great job by going up and getting the ball. Just giving him a chance. Oh, how about that hit? Did you see that coming in? That is a major hit. Good job in there. Odell Thorpe make that Patrick Chukora. What a hit. The play before, Thorpe with a nice catch. He goes up high over Vanette just to make the catch. It's press coverage all the way, so your receiver sees the ball. It's a little smack down in the line of scrimmage. Linebackers bringing it. My sinuses are now cleared. <laughs> you got him on oh, wow. He didn't cheat himself on that head. Patrick Chikora. 
out of Wyoming. Okay. What happened on that is they shot. Give it a good ball. So 17 to 6. Ace right. Yeah. Yeah. He's five. Hey. He's right. They're playing run deep. They're doing this. Six and F2. No, no, no. Hey, we got to break it now because yeah. the mic is up. And so the right. wheel ran back. Yeah, I got to put you. Over top. Oh, they're playing run deep. Hey. Yeah, listen to West Chandler, the offensive coordinator, talking to you, Jeff Rutledge, coach there with the cap and the headset. They're a little concerned about the, the blitzes on the inside, guys getting there quickly and not being able to get to them. Terrence Melton, number 55. Looks like he may have taken, taken a little hit there. Top two receivers in the league this evening. Both they had a couple of moments. Biddle right now has had a little bit bigger impact, average of 24 yards of catch. Touchdown, a priority one here for New York, down 17-6. Martin escaping for the moment, and he is just short of a first down. Let's see what kind of mark. I think he's going to. They're going to mark it about a half yard short of a first down. Ted Cottrell saying, come on, give me <laughs> He was trying to reach for the first down. I think, I honestly think, watch when he moves out here. Steps up in pocket, doesn't see anything, takes off. I thought he had a chance to make a north-south cut here and get up the field for the first down. Ooh, he he cut him back in a little bit. You nailed and, that. And he was just he going straight to the side. He line. absolutely had a north-south. Pittman, no. Pittman kept his eyes on his quarterback, with the ball there. Turned up and threw a block for him. And the short one. Oh, that's going to be close. Not that short. <laughs> it's it. another fourth down situation yeah. coming up. There you go. That's well defensed by New York. <laughs> by uh, Florida, beg your pardon. But when it comes down to it, Florida is stouter inside. And you know, talking with Wes Chandler a week ago, he said, you know, we're not the type of team that can just play smash mouth up there. We're not that powerful. So when it gets in these short yarded situations, you know, that, and that's how they got the one was that uh, Ali or Sap Al Ali, you know, broke two or three huh? tackles to get a yard and a half. There's a look at Wes Chandler. <laughs> Wes was uh, a little upset at the end of the half. Oh, at halftime. <laughs> And he said, it's pretty simple. You hit, you hit, hit the other guy harder. And, and if you see a guy, get him the ball. If you don't have it, throw it away. I mean, he was blunt. He was right to the right point. Right to the point. And this is where it becomes smash mouth football. You know, third and one, fourth and one. And you're not quite that physical up front. That's why they went to the quarterback sneak. You figure you wedge block it, move real quick before they can get any penetration oh, yeah. into the background. And that's a little far for a quarterback sneak right yep. there. That's almost a full yard. Ted Cottrell's team is two for two on fourth down uh, this evening. One was a quarterback sneak. The other was a nice little completion on a fourth and four or five situation. He came in one for four on the season. They're going to go for it again. We got the big fullback in there. Go, go, go. You heard wedge right, which probably means quarterback sneak wedge right. So between the, the wedge between the right guard and the center. Martin at quarterback. Pushes forward. He does pick up the first down. Quentin Culberson, 54, puts stick on him. Two yards on the game. 17 to 6 Florida. Fox starting to get away here in the third quarter. Yeah, they, there's still plenty of time as long as they get something out of this drive, and, and preferably six. Even if you were to kick a field goal, you're within eight. So you're within that one score. Sanders and Thorpe. The top of your screen. Throw the tight end instead, breaks a tackle. Nice job to get to the 35-yard line run again. He's had a nice night tonight. Nine yards on that pickup, and that's his fifth catch this evening. Tim McGarrigle on the stop. Just a couple of weeks away, Friday, November 27th, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific on Versus. It's the premier season UFL championship game from Las Vegas, Nevada, who will become the first championship team in UFL history. Florida Tuskers, they're in. And buying for that second spot, Las Vegas and California. First to make that a second down play. Not much of a gain there coming off a right guard. 
But why? Boy, there was just no movement at the point of attack. The linebackers are meeting the fullback in the backfield. There's no... We didn't have the bubble, sir. There's, there's really no seal. It's, it's amazing how much stronger the defensive line is. One sticky, quick aces, three-step drop. He's got a hitch on one side and a tight end on that little four to six yard sticky route that they've hit a number of times. Sanders and Thorpe. Should throw to the bottom. To the left. There's Thorpe. Ball tipped up in the air. It's intercepted, but he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Odell Thurman came up with the ball. Thurman tipped it and then came up with the loose ball. Here's the problem. My initial read, his initial read was throw the ball to the bottom of the screen there. Odell Thurman runs out underneath your hitch route. You've got to get yourself to come off this throw, spin back and find your tight end on his little sticky route, which is only a four to six yard route on the front side. You've got to come off that first receiver. There we go, fourth down again. Fourth and a yard. Pitch it outside, Tofield, he got it, just got it. Thurman there, number 52, on the stop. And that's the same play that Tatum Bell fumbled on. How about New York, four for four on fourth down tonight. Maybe they should just stick with the quarterback sneak in short yardage, because this was scary. They were hoping to get everyone sucked in on the inside move, kicks it. Extra defender out there, both linebacker and, and safety come up. Odell Thurman brings him down, but he made the first guy miss. Good thing that Tofield had some bounce. Wow. Tofield made, I, I believe Odell really missed and then came back to make the tackle. First down play. Get it to Thorpe, 30 yard line, 29 yard line. Picks up five. Ricky Manning Jr. there, number 20. And Darius Vinette. Vinette's had a busy day over there, throwing a lot to the right side. Yeah. Vinette. Alfonso went on. up over him for the big play. Yeah. The net out of Arkansas played with the Rams and the Falcons, most recently with the Falcons last year. They list him as a 4-1-9 in the 40. Pure speed. For the fourth time tonight, double-digit plays in a drive for New York. This is the 12th play. They drive 12, 14, and 13. Martin up in the air, almost intercepted. Tried to get it to Noah Herring. Darius Vinette making the uh, dive for that loose ball. Wow, they just rushed this. It was there. Watch this. He goes to bluff the block. Both linebackers blitz. He releases. This is what we were actually talking about this in meetings the other day. Tim McGargo comes in, sees his guy is going to block, and he wants to rush. And all of a sudden, he releases by him for what could have been a big play. Came right to head. Fourth drop tonight by the hey, New York down, Sentinels. Uh, I, I feel like Martin rushed that a little bit too much. He's a third down and six. Keep it alive, but he still keeps it alive. Throws it downfield, what do we got? Incomplete, Gent was down there. That's a heck of a throw. What Running a hard to the left. That's wow. not easy. Don't try that at home, please. As he was moving to his left, I'm thinking the same thing. I saw the receiver work back to the corner of the end zone. I go, oh, it's a shame he's in a bad position to throw there. But watch this. Boom. Snap that throw and almost comes up with the big one. Done, though. So Peter check in for a field goal. He's hit from 38 and 44. He's two for two. This field goal attempt brought to you by Men's Warehouse. Men's Warehouse, you're going to like the way you look. Ronnie Kent made a very nice move to spin back and go towards the corner. Great reaction. 47 yard attempt. No chance. That was not a good looking stroke. Not a good stroke at all. By Peter checks out. He's two for three. We'll take a timeout. 1.30 to go in the third. Florida 17. New York 6. Back to Hartford right after this. New York quarterback coach Jeff Rutledge, fine career at Alabama with the Rams and the Giants in the NFL. He wasn't bargaining for this tonight. He thought he was done taking hits. Watch this. Ingle Martin gets slammed right into him. Patrick Ch Chakor gets a little bump on him, so he's off balance, trying to keep his eyes down there to see where the ball's going and gets hit. 
He, he walked uh, away saying, I think I broke my thumb. Well, <laughs> he's, our, he's got our, a real injury. He sure does. Our audio guy gave the ole and got out. And Jeff, Jeff was watching the play. He's trying to keep his eyes on the ball down yeah. the field. So Florida takes over. Tatum Bell, the deep back, gets the call. Looking for a crease and ran right into a linebacker. Ran into Joe Mortensen, and let's go down to Cordell Stewart. Yeah, I'm standing with Coach Jeff uh, Rutledge. He was just saying how uh, he just had surgery on his back and on his hip in, uh, in July and February. So that hit right there he got from his quarterback, Ingle Morton, <laughs> that was pretty tough. He's a part of all the other injuries that we have on his team with Quinn Gray. With his left hip, he's he's questionable, as well as running back Tyrone Gross. He's uh, questionable with a, with a ding to the head. But Daniel Oliphant, backup left guard, he has a high left ankle sprain. He is not coming back in the game. Back to you guys. Under thrown by Bollinger. He had the tight end Heinrich wide open at the 45 yard line in Cordell. Yeah, not a good night for the New York quarterback department to be sure. Boy, well, Bollinger would, would love to redo that one, wouldn't he? Boy, well, he when you open. have a guy wide open, you're trying to just give him the ball. You don't want to make it difficult, so he puts a little touch on it. And Heinrich really doesn't adjust or come under control and winds up not making a play on the ball. And it was, it was poorly under throw. But you still expect to come away with a completion. Bollinger, 11 of 18, 163, and a touchdown. Deep drop. Throws short. Ooh, good hit. Pittman makes the catch. He's close to first down yardage. Eight yards on the game. Ryan Wallace putting a lick on him, and that is a first down for Florida. Somebody on third down find Michael Pittman. Somebody just pick him up. Quit dropping in zone and go find him. He is... He has just be, made play after play for this team, especially in third down situations, catching the football out of the backfield. He's got four catches, and I bet three of them are on third down. Final 12 seconds here in the third quarter. Pretty good surge there by Pittman for four, brought down by middle linebacker Mortensen. It's going to do it for the first 45 minutes of this ball game. Florida, 4-0, UFL leaders with a 17-6 lead over the winless New York Sentinels. We're in Hartford tonight. Mortensen took the brunt of that exchange there with the running back. We'll be back for the final 15 minutes in Hartford right after this. on Versus is presented by Tidal Electro Energy Drink. Thirst for it. By Paid Inc. By Fanlands on the turf. And by Natmas. Every man has a story to tell. This is the United Football League on Versus from Hartford, Connecticut. New York hanging in against the unbeaten Florida Tuskers, 17-6. About to start the fourth quarter. Dave Sims, Doug Floated, Cordell Stewart, Anita Marks, and the UFL crew. Been a good game tonight. New York has had its opportunities. Four drives that have been double-digit plays that resulted in field goal, field goal, interception, and a missed field goal. Here's a screen. They go outside to Foster. Jason Foster had not seen him for a while. He cut the touchdown pass, a four-yarder, to get Florida on the board at 7-0. And he picks up on that play, seven yards, tackled by Leon Williams as we look at the fourth quarter report being presented by USI. These numbers not quite as explosive as you would expect out of those guys. Bollinger and Biddle, they've, they've turned to the run game a lot more here in the second half. Gray's injury in the second quarter, key because they were driving the ball at the, at the time, wind up with an interception. Paris Warren, time we've called his name, he's in the contest right now. Big hole up the middle. Tatum Bell, brought down by Leon Williams. You just get the feeling that the physical nature of this offensive line is going to take over, is taking over this game, and they are are just going to hammer the football now. Well, it looks like the night is officially done for Quinn Gray, the quarterback, that hip corner way more than he can stand and you see that hit you think maybe he had a concussion maybe he had his knee tweaked underneath him and it winds up being a hip in injury because he got kneed in the hip and the cold weather not helping Bollinger outside man wide open nice cut gets down to the 31 yard line 
That was Frank Murphy. Murphy with his second catch tonight. And he's brought down by Material Richardson. Nice patience, reading his own coverage, dumping it underneath to Murphy. I, I really believe you've got to play a little more man coverage. Commit to stopping the run here. Commit an eighth guy, one of your safeties up into the box and try to stop the run and take your chances on the outside. Shaud Williams, the deep back in the eye behind the fullback, Pinnock. Bollinger time, gets it out to the fullback. Taken down by Ryan Wallace. Two yards on that game. Nice reaction by Wallace, playing Pinnock pretty tight. Mays down there, looks like he's cramping up. Best looking drive we've seen tonight, Florida capping it off at the 8.15 mark third quarter. They went 11 plays, 77 yards, and that's after a three and out by New York to open the second half. That's what gotten this uh, lead to 11 points for the Tuskers. We will take a timeout. 12.45 to go fourth quarter. Florida 17th. It trails New York Sentinels 6. Florida 17 to 6 over New York. We're in the fourth quarter just underway. This copyrighted telecast is a presentation of the United Football League. Any use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the UFL is prohibited. Terrell Mays out of the game for the moment. David Pittman takes his place, number 29. Most recently had been with the Florida Tuskers. Second down and nine. About the 30-yard line. Underneath. Oh, good play. Good play. He got it to Murphy. His third catch of the night. And a tackle made by Richardson. This is tough. A man coverage dragging across the field, and it's a perfect throw. And Richardson reaches out and makes the tackle on Murphy. To stay with your guy stride for stride when the throw is on the money, you're hoping as a DB that throw slows him down a half step. It didn't, but Richardson still got there to make the tackle. Great job. Terry Colbert. Top of your screen. Screen to the right. Ooh, that whistle was early, wasn't it? <laughs> Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman had escaped that tackle. Paul Pratt was there. Again, it was a third down situation, and they screened to Pittman. Pittman out of the backfield on third down is such a weapon. Pratt comes up, makes the tackle short. So they get fourth, and fourth three. down. Well, a field goal would still put two touchdowns in reach. So here you're looking to, to make it a three-score game by deciding we're going for it on fourth. Pittman has killed him out of the backfield all night. Motion man is Paris Warren. On the end cut, there he is, Warren. 15, England to the 10, picks up a block. He's at the six-yard line. First and goal, Florida, 19 yards on the shallow cross. Darian Williams makes the stop, first and goal. It's a great fourth down conversion, but a field goal would have put you 14 points up. They're going for the jug. They're going for it, and, and they believe in their offense. That's the thing. Warren, first opportunity to get his hands on the ball, steps in and makes a play. Let's get it in, man. First catch by Paris Warren out of Utah. It's with the Bucks in 05 and Jay Gruden. Seems to have a lot of answers when they get down the ring. He's zone. got a ton down here. Like I said, he usually hands Brooks one easy touchdown pass. Tatum Bell gets the call. Good stick. Morton's in the middle linebacker. Boy. Quick reaction. Firm, solid tackle. He just committed to it right away. He met him on the other he side the of the bike. line of scrimmage. Where's Q? Good job taking defense. on the fullback, yeah. and then Mortensen steps up through into the hole. Mortensen out of Kansas. Two-time All-Big 12 hey, performer. Uh, Orange you're, ball you're champion. Set. We gotta go Your set. offensive Hold line up. has to come off a double team in the down line and, and hey, get up hey, on that to the five, linebacker five, six, level. Florida in the red zone tonight. A touchdown, a field goal, a fumble, and a touchdown. Play fake. Bollinger flushed. Back to the end zone. That is in there for a touchdown. Oh How did he make that catch? Oh, wow. <laughs> what a catch. Harris.
Chris Warren, his second catch in the last couple of minutes. It looked like that was going to be picked off by Paul Pratt. But Paris Warren comes up with it, his first <laughs> TD catch of the season. Pratt's in coverage. Usually they get an easy one. It's a one receiver route out there. He's covered, double teamed, puts it up for grabs. Pratt can't come down with it. He's the guy that Ted said when we're just playing catch, looks like he's got hands like boards, but usually on the field he reacts to the ball fine. That time couldn't pull it in. Had the pick to himself, let it go, and it cost him seven points. And now New York in extreme jeopardy here with the 936 mark. Harris Warren with the TD catch. It's a one receiver route. He's doubled. He's got nowhere to go. The ball shouldn't be thrown. Battles there. Pratt's there. Warren comes up with it. Harris Warren, he wins the battle. Florida has extended the lead to 24 to 6. <laughs> Take a look at the title scoring drive Florida with a 24 6 lead Paris Warren boy he turned what should have been an interception into seven points for Florida 13 play drive 63 yards in 646 impressive and Florida converting a fourth down on that drive and now they have really gone for the jugular here here's the kickoff and that went through the hands but right to the return man lucky and he's brought down this Florida Tusker team already in the championship game for November 27th. That's in Las Vegas. Dave Sims and Doug Flutie with you. I'll tell you what, they showed all kinds of determination on that drive, going for it fourth down, converting it, and then getting the touchdown. A lot of confidence in his offense, Haslett has, and, and especially when you have a guy like Bollinger pulling the trigger. Yeah. He goes to Warren, who just stepped on the field, first catch of the game on a fourth down play, and then Warren comes up with a big touchdown catch, which should have been an interception. Should so have been. They've really taken control. They've taken control with the last two drives. Warren makes two catches on that drive. A lot of work to do here for the New York club. Hard tackling there, the run. That's a seven yard run by Woods. Shannon Woods on the carry. But to follow up on your point there, oh, 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 oh. It's, it's obvious that Haslett believes he has the most talent in this league and they can do what they want to do. And the heck with the situation. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the end zone and prove a point. Hey, 5 1, 5 1 to Mike. Five, one, five, one. Second down and two here for New York. Two yard line angle, Martin in trouble. Lost the football. Lost the football again. Let's see who's got it. Two fumbles, one play, and Florida's recovered. Five fumbles tonight. Two lost fumbles by New York. It's been a difficult go here. We get deeper into the night with 8.43 to go. Not a night on the football field that Engel Martin is going to want to remember. This ball slips out of his hand. He wants to throw it again and gets it knocked out of his hand. And a lot of that may have to do with it's a little cooler weather than he's used to. He's not into the mix just yet. He flew in today for the game coming from home. And he's in the game because Quinn Gray left the game with a hip corner. He took a huge hit. A hip injury about two two three plays before the first half ended and now here's Florida they're coming out here to put an exclamation point on this Tatum Bell I'll tell you what the Sentinel defense has played hard yes they have Mortensen leading the charge there They've put themselves in position that, that if their offense finished off any of their drives, would be in the, they'd be in this game. They've had great opportunities. They've, they've held to some field goal attempts and fourth down situations. Even in the beginning of the game, got off the field right away, but then a fumble punt. Chris Grayson warming up for Florida. Back up quarterback, Chris Bollinger back to throw. Flushed, got rid of it, one hops it. Incomplete, no catch. No catch to Pinnock, the fullback. So Brooks Bollinger, first game, 20 of 26, 225, four touchdowns, and not too far off. Uh, pretty comparable right there, yeah. except for two touchdown passes instead of four, but. Uh, you know, very consistent, nothing flashy, nothing brilliant, 
but consistent, solid numbers, and that's how you win football games. Just put to Ballinger out and put Chris Grayson in. Led Northwest Missouri State to a national title in D2 level. High throw, but a catch made. And it's made by Marcus Maxwell. We haven't called his number in a long time. Maxwell with his second catch of the night was brought down by Richardson. Fourth down situation. Looks like they're going to let uh, Chris take a shot at throwing a ball again and stay on the field. They're talking field goal on the sideline, but the offense isn't leaving the field. So Florida's going to take a timeout. It's their first here in the second half. 24 to 6, the unbeaten Tuskers with a commanding lead. And they're going to make a decision whether to kick it or go for it here on this fourth down when we come back. Bubble screen. That was really easy to Jason Foster. Touchdown, Florida. Hits Bobble. That's critical. He can pick it up and run. We'll sprint out to the right. Martin throwing across the body. Intercepted. Intercepted. They just hammered the football. Just pushed it right down the field. Been that kind of night for the Florida Tuskers in charge, 24 to 6. And they look at a fourth and about four, and they're going to go for it. Didn't quite hear the play call, but they do like what they call a jerk route. And it'd be a wide receiver starting coming over the middle, doing a little stutter step, and then continuing across. Chris Grayson is on a relief. Uh, Brooks Bollinger just came in on this series. Looks left, wide open. Pittman at the 10. And he's going to be short of a first down battle with the tackle. They've been throwing to Pittman all night on fourth down, third down. And he's denied. He's caught about a yard, yard short of a first down. They bought both guys. Harris Warren was running underneath. We'll see him come to our screen. Well, there's the completion to Pittman. And he does come up just a little bit short on the fourth down play, but Warren ran what they call their jerk route over the middle and was wide open and would have walked in the end zone. Mm. 7.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. See what Angle Martin can get going here on the delay. Ooh, what a stick, but running through. The tackle was Shannon Woods. Derek Richardson was the first one there. Let's go downstairs to Anita Marks. Standing here with quarterback Brooks Bollinger. Man, what a gutsy call. You guys in the red zone could have kicked a field goal and brought it to within 14, but you guys went for it and, of course, ended up with a touchdown. Yeah, you know, I think Coach has that confidence, even though, you know, we've uh, squandered some opportunities today, um, especially on, on my part, but um, it was always good to see the coach have confidence in you and we were able to finish the drive. I know you said earlier in the week, you wanted to start off fast and also you were looking for that perfect game and this you can't put in that category I know but what are you gonna work on to get ready for next week and of course ultimately the championship in Vegas yeah I think we had a lot to work on you know personally uh, I feel like uh, I made it wasn't as much the reads today I just missed some throws and uh, guys did a great job up front guys ran great routes and and they were open and I missed some throws and I just gotta uh, be more accurate and hit them when they're there now before we let you go you did have a bye week you went home to Wisconsin you've got two young boys one who's really into pirates and he made daddy dress up as Captain Jack Sparrow Jack Sparrow that's, that was a great Jack Sparrow too I wish I could show you guys but unfortunately I can't be on Miles was the, uh, the pirate and he, he got me lined up good and uh, we had a blast my other son, Bo, was uh, Mickey Mouse, so uh, we had fun. Can you do two things for me? Number one, we want a picture next week. We want to we want to see Brooks as a pirate. And number two, give us a savvy. <laughs> what? A savvy. That's what Sparrow would say. He'd say savvy. I can't do that. Come on. So arg is about as far as I went. Fantastic. We needed Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brooks. Back to you guys. All right, Anita, 24-6 Florida. And here's Scott Player to punt. Five drops, five different players tonight by the New York Sentinels. Nice roll. 
Fuck Jack Sparrow always wanted to know, why is he always out of rum? He couldn't figure it out. He's like, why am I always out of rum? <laughs> 48 yards on the punt. Good roll there, helping out the cause. The sideline report is brought to you by AOL Fan House. For more inside information on the UFL, go to fanhouse.com. All Florida, 24-6, inside six to play. Team having some fun. You can't blame them. Listen in to the call of the game brought to you by Motorola. Bill Everett. Anytime we get this, so you guys take a peek. If you see that four eye, you know we're going to double right back into that mic back. We're going to knock this guy's butt right back into him. And send press it. Don't leave it until you see some daylight either outside or just pour right up to the double team. You know what I'm saying? Now, on you whim, I would stay on the B gap. We'll get doubled. We may, there may be a crease right there. Just use your eyes. Can you beat the access we give you here in the UFL? What Some of the things that Lab was talking about. Early on, they ran a new wham play that they put in this week, and it busted wide open early in this ball game. It was a great play for them. Grayson in Florida. Oh, this could open up big. Pittman, good looking run into New York territory at the 45 yard line, a 20 yard game. Trey Battle brings him down. Well, he got it cleanly. It's all Vince Lombardi in the alley. When our call of the game, we were talking about potentially, they, they, they were talking on the sideline about running this inside zone all night, and the outside zone is going to be there. Well, sure enough, that's exactly what we just saw. They've been running the inside zone and getting the cut back on it. They finally went to the outside, and it was a cakewalk. Pittman, seven runs for 39 yards, five catches for 47-3 on those on critical third downs. First down at the 45 of New York. Not much there, they're grabbing for the ball. Looks like they took it away. Let's see if they give it to him. Yeah, he's running the ball strong side. I'm looking weak side at Pinnock hitting Williams. He just came up and put a lick on him. Williams didn't like it. They stayed connected for a few seconds, and Williams throws him off late. Brian Bichetti, the defensive end, thought he had a steal there. Take a look at Pinnock, our fullback here, 34, getting up on the linebacker. Boom. Just, a, you know, it's away from the play, but, boy, he like There's the contact going on in the background and getting thrown. That's a football play there, boy. You, you that is a football play. You can have that. I don't like that part wow. of the game. <laughs> From a toss play. I was never a physical football player. Sean Williams, nothing there. But I we talked about who was the guy you played with in uh, played, San Diego? Yeah, wow. Pinnock. He was out in San Diego right. with us. He was our fullback. And you had, um, who was the guy that was there forever? Uh, Antonio, uh, not Antonio Gates. He's 41. Uh, Lorenzo Neal. Neal. Lorenzo Neal. And there's about, we named about six other fullbacks. guys. And those guys live for that contact. And when they hit you, they blow you up. Freddie McCrary was the That's third the fullback. Guy. He and they, right. they just, they're guys that love contact. They lay up in there. They're running the lead strong. They got to stick the Mike linebacker. They're running the lead weak. They go hit the Will linebacker. And, and they live for that. Now, once every game, they get to bluff the block, go to the flat, and catch a pass. Florida 7 for 11 on third down. Grayson back to throw. Got time. Going for a bunch. Nice catch. Oh, oh. Now he dropped it. Oh, it's right there. Kerry Colbert picked up just a couple of weeks ago. What an effort by Colbert. Colbert had an outstanding career at Southern California with the Carolina. Got hurt. He's been battling his way back since then. Pratt has a Pratt has another one lined up. Let's go. I got this one. Nope. Colbert goes up. What a great play by your receiver. I'll tell you what. As a quarterback, you go pat him on the back anytime for those kind of plays. Save you an interception. Second punt by Todd Sauerman. Fair catch signal made at the eight yard line. Three eight hang time on a 36 yard punt. And that fair catch by Brian Bonner. The Florida Tuskers and New York Sentinels. The coaching staffs are outfitted by Nat Nast. Nat Nast, every man has a story to tell. You know, we go back to that last drive and going for it on a fourth down and, and uh, coming away with no points for Florida. Chuck, we're rolling everything. If they kick a field goal yeah. there, they're up by 19. Right Whatever now, they are up, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I can't do math. They're up 18. I thought they were up three scores. I was getting ready to say they're only up 16. <laughs> I'm saying you can't. You've got to kick that field goal to go up by three scores. I'm wrong. My math, you know. Five for 14. And now. What do we got? Time out. Florida. Florida. Their second time out of the half. One time out remaining this for is Jim Haslett's crew. 3.29 to go. Out. Waiting minutes here. You know, Jim's still looking for, still looking for a turnover and a touchdown or something to kick this score up a little bit. And well, the long night continues for Ted Kittrell. Time now for Cutters Gloves catch of the game. Here's Bollinger rolling to his left, throwing back. And Paris Warren rips it away. Should have been an interception. They had the double coverage. It was pretty much perfect. Except Pratt doesn't come down with the ball. That's unbelievable. It's a great play by Warren going up over his defenders. And Pratt, Pratt's had two opportunities with that ball falling in his lap and can't come down with it. Looks pretty happy. He's only thrown two interceptions all year long. Hey, Brad, what yeah, yeah. These receivers saved him a little today. Engel Martin throws and completes it to Thorpe. Thorpe gets it across the 30, 34 yard line, 23 yard game, brought down by Michael Grant. They got to hurry up. The 314, they're going to get right up to the line of scrimmage. Oh, they are going to huddle up. They get a little rough at the passer call here right at the end. Throwing him to the ground after the ball is gone. I don't know that that was real flagrant, but it was actually exceptional timing on the throw. Nice yeah. throw and catch by Thorpe. Martin six for 15, 67 yards and a pick. Should step off a 15 yarder down here. Hey, I, already gave, I already gave it to him. <laughs> for New York. Martin, down he goes. Nice play in there. And Patrick Chikora called his name several times today. He had that great stick on a running play. Now he gets a sack. Well, this is one of those uh, exotic blitzes we were talking about yesterday with Hazlitt. He brought the guys off the edge. He rotated the coverage to what is a funky, too deep coverage, and uh, finally got to the quarterback on it. And sacked by Shakura. He's in it by AOL Fanhouse. The quarterback got drilled. <laughs> One hop incompletion to Sanders, and they run. That was another one of those. <laughs> they're, they're wheeling and dealing now in the, so on the defense and drawing up some of their blitzes. They're trying to be creative. We're, we're saying they're only allowed to bring five man rush, and it has to be from the outside in our, in our league. But he's finding creative ways to get to some of the exotic blitz zones. So the guys that you would expect to come aren't coming, but they're still bringing the minimum amount of guys. <laughs> exactly. You're only allowed to bring five, but he's putting some linebackers down in a stance and putting defensive ends and linebacker positions so that they can end up in a blitz zone. Third and 15. Almost picked off. Getting his hands on it to one triple number 27. Out of Boston College. When Triple has a chance to get his hands on the ball, he usually ends up with the pick. Through, uh, Martin threw him a little bit of a changeup. This ball wasn't coming quite as hot as Triple thought. Jumped a little early. 24 to 6, the only New York scores. Peter Check, a 38 yard field goal in the first. He had a 44 yarder in the second. So no scoring here. Boy, with the 12, they had a 12, a 14, 13, and a 14 play drive, and they come away with six points. Gary. Martin pump. Downfield. That's intercepted. That one went right to the defender. 
And it went to the linebacker, Anthony Slagle, out of Ohio State. Slagle couldn't drop that one. It was a two deep coverage. He's playing deep in the middle of two Tampa, we like to call, because Tampa Bay started this coverage, where their middle linebacker gets exceptionally deep, and there was really no window to put that ball in. Slagle with a nice deep drop, takes it to the chest. Got his camouflage on underneath. He's running to get deep, and this is the sign of a two Tampa coverage. He's really like a deep middle defender. He turns and runs. Fourth turnover by New York. Two picks, two fumbles. They've had five fumbles on the night, but only lost two of them. So now just a matter of Chris Grayson running out this final 234. Todd Williams carried two yards on the game. Slagle. <laughs> I remember talking to Slagle in our preseason meetings. Florida Tusk is basically a big sort of a hedgehog kind of yep. he, he said down in San Antonio where he grew up, he would hunt these babies with his Bowie knife, wrestle them down, take the Bowie knife out, and cut the throat. Hunting. Yep, all about pig hunt. Oh, my goodness. I, you can have that. He's a good old boy, that boy, down in Texas. He's down around the San Antonio. You see him, the fellas are pointing to his camouflage. He's out doing some hunt. You hunt them with a knife. Uh, those, those are vicious animals. I guess he's a little more vicious. A little bit out of my league, son. A little bit out of my league. 24-6 Florida. <laughs> Tonight's UFL game presented by Title Electro Energy Drink. Title Thirst for it in all Florida, 24-6. New York did, I, let me backtrack on that. New York did have some opportunities, never cashed in on them. They played well enough, especially in the first half, to be leading this game and could not take advantage of drives. They put four or five really nice drives together, only came away with six points, and turned the ball over. Grayson handing off, ooh, good defensive play. Good play by Brian Bonner. So with the clock running and 148 to go, we're gonna put the W in the win column for Florida and go five and zero. Oh. Las Vegas and California, they're gonna tee it up Saturday in San Jose. Winner gets a leg up, moves a step closer to joining Florida in the championship game on November 27th. They would need to follow through and win their second game as well, but chances are the winner of that game will meet Florida in the championship, and that is gonna be a great football game. We saw it, we, you know, a week ago it, it was Vegas and Florida playing each other, and that was one whale of a football game came down the wire. 27-24, Shad Williams, an explosive run. Across the 45 to the 47, a 15-yard game. Trey Battle on the tackle. As we have now reached the final minute of play here in Hartford, Connecticut. Looks Bollinger and company, very solid. 19 to 27 tonight, 215 and two touchdowns. He's got a total of six touchdown passes with no interceptions in the two games against this New York team. And again tonight, it wasn't flashy. It wasn't like big plays down the field. He just distributes the football and does his job. Florida going into the victory formation. And that'll do it right there. 30 seconds to go. Both teams will meet at the middle. Shake hands, and this ball game is in the books. Jim Hazlitt's Florida Tuskers go to 5 0 with a 24 to 6 win <laughs> over New York. Bollinger, 19 of 27, 215, and two touchdowns. Pittman rested eight times for 40 yards and caught five for 47. We'll take a break and come back and put a ribbon on this game here tonight in Hartford. The Tuskers continue to dominate the UFL. They beat New York 24 to 6. The United Football League on Versus is presented by Quick Hits. Change the game. By Control Dynamics. By Custom Bite, the only off-the-shelf custom mouth guard. And by GetUFL.com. It's all about you. 24-6 Florida over New York. 
as Florida shuts out New York in the second half. They limit them to just two field goals in the entire ball game. Time now for the stub up fan favorite play of the game. This was late in the first half. And Quinn Gray, who had been playing pretty effectively, got hurt, hip pointer. Engel Martin came in and never really got anything generated. What a momentum swing. Had an opportunity there to take the lead before the half and make a play. They had a great first half total, and it just fell apart right at the end. You can help choose the StubHub fan favorite play of the year. Visit ufl-football.com, then go to StubHub.com to choose the seats you want for the games you love. StubHub where fans buy and sell tickets. 24 to 6, Florida goes to 5 and 0, oh, and New York goes to 0 oh and 5. Final score from Rensselaer Field here in East Hartford, Connecticut, 24 to 6, Florida. Join us next Thursday night, November 19th, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, Florida faces California, AT&T Park in San Francisco. Now for Doug Flutie, Anita Marks, Cordell Stewart, and her entire crew, I'm Dave Sims, saying so long. You've been watching the premier season of the UFL on Versus. Good night, everybody.